or Star Wars design today. This project is coming along fast, which is good because we got a lot to do. Lena, quick on the draw as always. All right. Nice, that's set up. Okay, Twitch time. Cold Sphere Gaming, how's it going? Welcome. Hey, Pee Wee. All right, let's get Twitch going. Can I can I hit the button? Hey, I hit the button. Well, thanks for rewatching it. Appreciate it. All right. Twitch is up and running. Okay. Uh, let's let's jump in. Let's get going. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get this thing loading. While we talk a little bit about what we're doing for anybody who is just uh, watching for the first time. So we are building this Super Star Destroyer from Empire Strikes Back and Return of the Jedi. <clears throat> uh, we basically have tonight, um, we have a lot of, we have all this kind of gray material in right here. We have this this all this gray material is in more or less uh, we just have a few th we have a few things to do and we're gonna focus on that first and that is there's some jagged edges here that we have to fill in and it's gonna be a little tedious but I'm gonna try to do that first uh, and that way it uh, while I'm st still you know not tired <laughs> so we're gonna do that first but we'll chat you know, and, and hang out and, uh, and I'll show you how to, I'll show you some techniques and stuff. Uh, and then we got to put this ridge line in because similarly, there's some gaps, you know, kind of where these two planes meet. So we're going to work on, uh, work on that first. And, and it's a pretty big area, so it's going to take a while, but this should be a long stream. I should go eight to nine hours. Um, and my hope is is that once we get sort of that finicky stuff done, which should probably take a few hours at least, uh, we can move on to um, something else. Oh, and 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 we have to do it on this edge too. We have to do this edge too. So there's there's four long edges that we have to fix up the lines, and then that and then the back ridge line, and then we can think about something else. And what I'm gonna uh, do is work on this guy we're gonna get this guy in he's uh we're gonna see if we can do that maybe in the second half tonight figure out the height figure out all the stuff the width uh it's right here a little hard to see um you know is there another yeah i mean we can kind of see it over here a little bit 
it's turned to the side, of course. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's this tower thing. And we may also look at some other references besides just this schematic that was mostly made for the big ship structure and not so much the tower. But that's, that's the plan for tonight. And we're nice and loaded. Here she is. That's what we're looking like to, uh, currently. And you can kind of see those jagged edges that I was talking about. So we're gonna, we're gonna get those fixed in first and it's gonna look more like, you know, more like here d does, you know, where it's nice and smooth. Um, and we did the same thing uh, down here as well. Okay, so we're gonna work on that. Um, so just really quickly, this, this is gonna be a power plant. This is gonna handle uh, 10,500 oil per minute. It's all pack, all the oil and water that it needs is packaged and it's gonna be shipped to it from these tr sky trains. Uh, well, the first half is gonna be shipped from these sky trains uh, and the water comes from there, gets packaged. Uh, the oil comes from all around the map, goes through these train lines and it gets packaged inside here. Uh, but that's, that's really the source of this. And then eventually this is gonna make tons and tons of power, like 15,000 fuel, uh, fuel gens, 1,500, not 15,000, that'd be crazy. That'd be even crazier. 1,500 fuel gens worth. Um, and the fuel gens are gonna be in this open area, this open hole that we still have right here. Um, but we also have the tower too, right? So, and then I don't think 1,500 fuel gens are gonna fit in here, even though it is very, very big. I think we may, uh, whatever we don't fit, we will probably, um, we will probably overclock fuel gens because there's no loss of efficiency when you overclock power generation. So uh, yeah, that's what we're gonna do. Um, you know, today, you know, we're 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 just we're we're pushing the ball down the field today. We're pushing the ball down the field. Hey, Mikey on Twitch. So you guys, you know, chime in, ask questions, hang out. This isn't gonna be like super mathy, at least in the first half. I just gotta get these, uh, these in these little pieces in. How's our how's our? We're not really carrying much. Where did I leave my stash of goodies? Oh, over there, it looks like. Uh, we're gonna need a lot of this material, which is concrete and... Oh. And we already have a lot of concrete. Crap. Uh, yo, it shows the angles in that lighting too, instead of just looking 2D. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Ram. Uh, we need some, we're way too low on iron plates. Let's go fill up on iron plates. Let's head over to the Senate building before we get started. I don't want to get locked in rhythm and then run out, run out of crap so soon. Uh, yeah, that is a struggle to try to find the right lighting to show the three dimensional nature of, of it when I'm doing, um, especially when I'm doing, um, thumbnails and stuff. Yeah, I think it's coming together really well. It looks great. Merp. Should be full. It is. We have some more. All right, let's empty these as well. All right, good enough. Let's go. Oh, while we're here, uh, do we need to turn off anything? Maybe these? Yeah, let's turn off. Steel beams. What else do we have? Plastic can stay. Cable finally full. Oh, cable's finally full. That's been on for weeks. 
turn that off. How's uh, crystal oscillators? Not full yet. I don't even know. I mean, we've got to be making more than... I think I actually turned... You know what? We need to do a small task. I'm sorry. We need to do a small task. I, when we were really, really low on plastic, I cut some costs and I'm just remembering that and it was gonna be temporary. And I think I did that like four months ago. Um, and this will give anybody who hasn't seen it a, a quick glimpse of our starting factory. But uh, I think I turned off to Chris, the crystal oscillator uh, production because I wanted more plastic. Uh, and now we don't need nearly as much plastic as we did. What do we got here? So versatile framework. We definitely don't need that. Uh, but we can turn it on because it'll give us some more uh, fun with the high-speed connectors. I think we're okay without those for now. Mod modular engines. What about... I guess all these crystal oscillators are turned on. And I guess they have everything they need. Okay. I feel like we should have had more than that. Um, all of that's turned on. What do I have turned off over on the other side? What's this? Hmm, compacted coal, okay. All right, well, maybe I was mis misremembering. What do we got here? What do we have turned off? Smart plating, let's turn that on. Mm, I love seeing all my parts being made on my assembly lines. Um, yeah, this looks good. Um, okay, cool. I guess we didn't need to really mess with anything. Um, let's see. I wanna see what we have for tickets. I haven't looked at the ticket counter in like, like probably six months. Three hundred sixty-six. Like, how how much is like the big guys? Can't even remember. Like the really fun stuff. The golden nut is a thousand, right? But it gets slower and slower as you go. So I mean, we can afford like. I have some of these already. Like we don't, we could afford the the uh, like most of these, right? But not the golden nut, obviously. So, you know, got to keep on keeping on. All right, sorry, slight distraction, but I feel better now. Let's go. Oh my god, that looks so cool. really does look cool super happy with it and uh, let's get to work oh got some nice hot tea today I think I'll leave the fog on for now. It looks nice. Uh, so my wife just bought some jasmine hot tea. So basically think of like if you go to like a Chinese restaurant 
It tastes like that tea. Really good. All right, so for some reason, I really like working left to right, or I guess right to left, working in the left direction. So we're gonna start on this end because I've already started this corner. God, I love how this looks. It's a total pain in the ass, but it's totally awesome. All right, I have a, all right, guys, I have a question for you. So we, we need to make a decision here. Um, so with this coloring, so do you guys see how these are, it's striped because this gray right here doesn't change colors? Well, if we go with this color, kind of hides the stripe and it is a little darker and I actually think that this should be darker so I am actually wondering maybe and 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 actually the sooner that we answer this question the better because I can set A swatch for this and we're about to put in a bunch of them and kind of now's the time if you know what I mean yeah all right yeah let's do uh let's do Let's do a vote in chat. We've only got seven viewers, which is actually a little light for me on YouTube. How many we got on Twitch? Three? So we got 10. So give me 10 total between the two. Give me, um, yeah, give me a, 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 a D for dark or an L for light. That would be like not changing. So a D in chat for dark. Uh, because deciding now would actually save us time later. And it's just this top. It's these roofs. Okay. The, the color we have for the bottom, which is being... We're using um, foundations for. That, that doesn't have this stripe problem. But I kind of like the idea of, of hiding these stripes. Um, and, and I... Thinking, I mean, it's it's work obviously to like mass color change. Although I could use, I could use the uh, SIM. I could, I that's probably actually a good idea. But I would only want to change the these roof tiles here. I want to try to get enough so that we get a good idea what it looks like. But I mean, this goes fast. I'll have to change it in the... Well, I mean, we're basically done. All I have to do is build individual... No, I'm changing the color so we can have a more... Uh, so we can see to vote. Lena, I want to get like a section in, so we can see. Like if, if if like everybody said that I'm crazy and it looked better lighter, I would change it back. 
Yeah, I mean, that's still like a really small section. But it's still, I think it still provides depth. I think I like the darker color. Uh, I'm in love with the Revolution Tea Organic Green Tea along with the Squirt of Lemon. It's so good. Is there a darker color? Yeah. So this, the, so this color, Mikey. So, yeah, I don't think anybody so far has liked, the, has voted for the light to keep it lighter. So I think this is what we work on today is... As I fix up these edges, we come through and uh, use that darker color and kind of get rid of the stripes. Two D votes is not enough. Yeah, but see, um, I only give this. I only give a a hint, or I only give the. Um, impression of a democracy what about the color for the part where you haven't built yet that's meant to be darker isn't it good question um it can be i'm pro the irony is i'm probably gonna light that let's look at some actual pictures here where do we want to go here Yeah, so I may go with not necessarily blue lights, but I'm probably gonna do some lighting. And it definitely won't be shiny. So these are shiny, right? Even with that darker color. Yeah, I... Although having said all that, that, that stripe does disappear the farther away you get, but still, I, I, I think it looks good without it. All right, so we do have a dissenter. Mikey says that, you think it highlights the lines, huh? Mikey says that the darker colors look like solar panels to him. Uh, he likes the lighter color. What if we, um, what if we make a change here? Uh, this color, let's write this one down so that I can come back to it. 37, 3A. 3C. I mean, that's not a change. That's not going to work. That gray does have some blue in it too, which actually didn't really notice until I removed it. Uh, now I'm losing our 373A3C. Oh, yeah, auto saved.
You could make it matte dark. Yeah, how would I make it matte dark though? I wonder, you know that trick with the negative one? I wonder if that works with roof tiles. I think the edge though of this roof stays the same gray color though. I don't know if you can change that. Yeah, so see see this color here got like a little bit of um a little bit of blue in it, which is kind of nice actually. Try this. I think it needs to be, so here's my thinking. I think it has to be darker than this light, than what we have right now. But maybe that's too dark. Okay. Maybe, maybe that my first color was too dark. That's, that's kind of where I'm at with this. And I do want to figure this out now because Oh, let's try that negative one thing. So this makes it like get black, I think. That really puts it into, uh, that's black. <laughs> that really puts it in, into perspective, right? All right, let's, I think I think I want it darker. Let's, let's wrap this up, but I don't want it quite as dark. 373A, uh, C that we have I'm gonna make it a little bit more blue oh there's our first green screen of the day uh, and then I'm gonna make it just a touch lighter so let's try this I think, I know, I know, Lena. Thanks for that. You know, I, I, I did say it. All right, we're gonna go, I think we're gonna go with this. We're gonna bring it back just a tad. Uh, I think this is a good color. Mostly gray, it's got just a hint of blue in it. Yeah, so there's our three colors. What do you think, Mikey? A good split the difference there? I like the black too. You know, maybe we do some black stuff in the center because um, Ram's got a good point that this stuff in the middle, it all, does seem to be darker no matter what you no matter what picture you see. Let's do a little bit, let's do a little bit of view of viewing here. Let's try uh, executor. 
uh, Star Wars. Yeah, so like with this one, it's very dark in there. You can't really see the top, but you can kind of see the edges. Um, here, let me open it up where you guys can see it. Right? So this is actually from the movie. So, I mean, it's very dark and that's black. Right, so, so we could go pretty hard there. Here's Lego. So Lego has them all the same color, but I actually don't like that as much. Uh, looks like this is from the movie too. Uh, definitely a little bit darker in there, kind of more shadows. So I think that we are gonna try to make the inside, whatever we make inside. Here's another, here, here's a good one. This is a really good one. Uh, no, let's try again. There we go. This is a good one. I think this looks like from the movie. Maybe this is like a brightened up version from the movie that somebody, I think somebody messed with this image from the movie, but this looks really good. So yeah, and then what I'm probably gonna do is make like this stuff you know, it's gonna be a little irregular, a little lumpy. Okay, when we do the, um, the, uh, fuel gens, we'll see. I mean, <clears throat> it's gonna be more regular than this, but I'm, I, I'll try not to make it like a purely regular thing. Um, but we're definitely gonna do darker up there. So we're, we'll keep that in mind. Uh, but I think we're gonna go with this middle gray so that it gives us enough room to go darker on the middle. You know, and, and we're, I'm gonna make a blueprint for those. Um, uh, fuel gens. So, you know, we'll be able to mess with it. And it'll be more than just fuel gens. I wanna make them look like, almost like little buildings. With, you know, the stuff poking out of it. Uh, but I think this is a good, I think this is a good Uh, let's oh, let's write it down. Oh, let's save it actually Save this let's do uh, SSD gray so This is superstar destroyer gray There will be a significant portion of tonight's stream that is gonna be me painting this beast. But, that's what happens when you build big. And honestly, until I kind of saw it all together, did I realize that I didn't really like how light it was. It seemed plenty dark when I was first building it. And we're gonna put in all these edges here tonight. And so now's the time to lock this down before these edges go in.
It's going to be a real pain in the ass to change the color of the edges once I put them in. Okay, let's do a little work and then we'll do some painting. We'll, we'll, we'll change it back up. And then um, let's go ahead, since we can't see shit up here, turn that on. So at least we have something nice to look at. Um, uh, hey, John. Yeah, I think once we have, have the darker colors in the middle areas, it'll make the contrast pop. I hope so. I think so. All right, what do we need? What do we need for this work? Uh, well, first of all, I need to set the color correctly. It has to be the standard, I think. Not right. doing this to me to be working. Thanks for being here, Peewee. Um, okay, so this really should be working and I don't know why it is not. Do I need to set one of these? Yeah, there we go. Uh, it didn't like the custom one. So keep that in mind, guys. Uh, okay, let's let's get to work. Whenever I mess with color swatches like that, the game really is freaking out. It's like updating color, even though I don't think I told it to really update any color. All right, it stopped. Definitely some loss of, uh, frames per second there for a minute. What if I could do it this way? No, it wants me to be on this, look at the side that
What if I could split the difference and look down the middle or down the side? Uh, that's reasonably fast. This is the right color, right? It is now. All right, Lena, you, that was an old chat, I think. I think we're good now. I think that's more of a better color. Nice, happy medium between light and dark. I really do think when you put in the darker middle sections, it will tie it all together. I think so too. And remember, I'm gonna put lighting in too. Uh, I actually really like that blue lighting. Maybe more so than that purple that we kind of were using before. Maybe I, maybe this, maybe it goes blue. Uh, a lot of the pictures have it as very blue. So with the gray and then the blue lights. Bet you can't blueprint the road blocks. Yeah. I mean, I could. Yeah, like the, the key would be like. I mean, we could we could try something. We could try something. If I could get one thing, it would help me a little bit. What if I built And then, what if I built this? Let's just, let's see what that looks like. Yeah, no luck. Yeah, no luck. I just kind of wanted to see how they would interact. I wasn't, I didn't think it would work, but uh, it was worth a try.
Yeah, you always gotta be willing to, you know, try a new blueprint, see if it works, because you never know. Uh, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I think, like like Mikey said on Twitch, we get the darker center, uh, darker feeling of the center. That that'll be nice. And then we'll we'll definitely do some blue lighting and maybe some blue signage for the center buildings. You know, and we'll go over a very industrial kind of look. And then I was thinking we can talk about this a little bit while we're auto saving but i was thinking like there's a very much of a color and texture change when you're looking at like the shell like this area versus like the underside this area now i don't know how detailed we're going to get on engines and stuff i think it'd be cool it's going to be very low on my priority list to do that kind of work um, but I was thinking that might maybe instead of using the super smooth, uh, foundation material that we're using that I use the underside of, um, of roof panels for this look, because it's a much more industrial look, right? See that? I, I think that works as opposed to foundation. Um, you know, because we still have a decent amount of, because I don't want to fill these with engines. Like, like, I don't want, like looking at this, I mean, I guess there's just these engines poke out, right? But this area, like we need factory in there. We, we need factory in this area, right? So it, this, this thing is huge. Yes, it's huge, but like, we may find that we, if we're not careful, we'll run out of room if I don't, make sure that we keep factory floor space in mind. Where do you place the blender and refinery to produce the fuel for all those generators? Well, yeah, that's going to go. That's kind of the point out. That's kind of what I was saying. I mean, it, it's going to be all in this belly, right? And in here, Right, we, we've got a long way to go. I mean, it's gonna be, it's gonna be here. All of this, right? Which, which is big. I mean, this is a big factory. Uh, and I'm gonna do long lines, okay? And we'll be space efficient, but I, I think we should have enough. But that's kind of what I was thinking about. I mean, yeah, this thing is huge, but a lot of it is unusable real estate you know what i mean so we we've got to be efficient i think in our kind of mixture of utility and cosmetic we have to keep it in mind we can't just be like oh it's so big that uh you know we'll we'll never we'll never use all that space well we might just because so much of the space is kind of hard to use. I mean, that's gonna be one of our next projects after we finish off kind of this, uh, the stuff we're working on today. So Tuesday, Tuesday night, the next stream, uh, we're gonna start 
kind of figuring out the boundaries of our actual factory within this beast. We're gonna be putting up kind of walls and like, okay, how does this look? How do we make this look seamless? But also have like, where are we gonna start building our shit inside? So we're gonna start figuring that out once the, the sort of this pure cosmetic portion of this is over, which is, you know, we're approaching. This is actually going really fast, I think. I mean, we've been doing this for a week. A little over a week, I think. So we are approaching the... That's basically... really good. The time when we have to start thinking about building some actual stuff in here. Um, you know, including the, the fuel gens. You know, and I, and I probably will do the fuel gens relatively early, maybe even first, so that we get the depth of them, and so we can build around them kind of inside. Hey, Ray. Gary Wilson, space efficient, uh, famous last words. Oh yeah, well, you know. It's relatively speaking, space efficiency. Uh, well, you guys will see what I'm gonna do with, the, I'm gonna blueprint all these. I'm gonna blueprint the machines. I'm gonna make some cool stuff. You guys, I think you guys are gonna like it. Uh, pure like factory making blueprint type of stuff that I haven't really done on in the save at all. I mean, that's not true. I, I did a little bit of it with the water packaging. It was kind of like a water comes in, packaged water comes out, you know? Uh, but this is gonna have more components than just one is I guess the point I'm making. Trying to learn a new button. And I think it'll be better for me in the long run, but for now it kind of sucks. I mean, I've already sort of learned it, so. I'm gonna make some mistakes here for a few minutes, but it'll be better, it'll be better in the long run. we doing uh, we've got a decent amount in it's the reason I'm doing this now as I get more tired the more uh, I get more overwhelmed and uh, 
it's just better to do this up front. I would love to be doing the the tower in the center of this thing, but we'll do that last tonight. I mean, and we have to do this. Like, this is a non-optional thing because. I mean, look at how nice that edge looks compared. I mean, we have to do it. Not even a question. Yep, looking good. Yeah, so if I do it this way, I don't have to move my arm to my keyboard from my mouse. I can just use my left hand. And it doesn't seem like a lot, but I'm doing it so often that literally my freaking arm gets sore. <laughs> and it saves time to not have to move my arm, which is, I know, kind of asinine when you, if you stop and think about it, but it adds up. Let's turn on the light too. See, that's the problem it's it's the d it's the d-pad of my gamer of my little track pad or my left hand pad and sometimes i hit the wrong button But I think it, once I get used to it, it, it's worth it. I'm gonna get so used to this kind of like building in this direction and this method it's gonna freak me out when I have to change change directions or 
We're about halfway done with the first side. And it's a good time for a break. Let's do a coloring break, shall we? Uh, let's actually change it to our swatch nine. Uh, the changing direction thing what do you mean like well the thing is these projects are so big if i if i if you're talking about what i think you're talking about <laughs> these these projects are so big that i get into like a muscle memory and then it's really hard to break that when I have to switch directions or invert something or do something from the opposite side. My my brain wants to keep doing what I was doing before. Yeah, so we, we have some of these that are going to be... I run it right along the edge. Okay. That was easy. I just had to find the spot. This is my ASMR for the night. Me painting these. <laughs> You'd forget, that's why you do notes constantly. Yeah. Uh, Sterling Ultimate. I like your work on the Star Destroyer. Good work. Got raid and run through very tired good night uh good night <laughs> uh and thanks for following me on twitch uh sterling ultimate all right let's see if i can get back into my 
my rhythm. Pretty easy. Uh, so I got a little uh, little thing to talk about, a little kind of announcement -y thing. I um I know that my streams have been a little bit less uh, long than they were for a long time, and uh, even though I picked up an extra streaming night. It's hard to say if I'm really streaming more than I was before because I've had to take a couple of nights off and uh, I, uh, I'm not quite streaming quite as long on, in some of them. And so part of the reason of that is the fact that, and I've talked about this a little bit, my, my nine to five, my main job is just really kicking my butt right now. And um, it, it'll only go on for a few more months uh, and then I'll get kind of caught up and things will go back to normal. Um, one of the reasons why I had to stop doing the edited episodes, um, cause I, I couldn't get it all done. You know, uh, I just couldn't get everything done. And the thing that I wanted to not have suffer the most or the thing that I wanted to keep from suffering was my wife's channel which had been I, I've been working on that the last couple weeks which is good you know her YouTube channel um but then also this live stream and just getting through this 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 save and so that's why I cut out the edited episodes and added another live stream so um Having said that, I'm still like, work is still kicking my butt. You know, I'm, I'm putting in uh, nine to 10 hours a day. I'm having to work weekends a little bit sometimes. And so um, this weekend, uh, my weight loss competition is over. No, I mean, next weekend. So like a week from today, Easter weekend, okay? Uh, my weight loss competition is over, um, and I have Monday off as a holiday, uh, and and I'm taking Tuesday off as well from my. So I'm 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 getting a a four day weekend on uh, next weekend, and the fact of the matter is I have decided to just take a rest. Uh, I probably, uh, I'm, I'm not going to stream the night before Easter. Okay. So a week from tonight, I will not be streaming. Uh, it's going to be all family. It's going to be resting from both, uh, the extra hours I'm putting in at work and this, uh, weight loss competition that I've done. So between those two, I just, I need a reset and I need a rest. Um, and then similarly, because I'm taking Tuesday night off, I'm taking it to, you know, again, be with family and rest, not, uh, not stream. So, uh, I, I'll be taking two off in a row and I think in the long run, it's going to be better for, for me and, and getting this. Uh, you know, getting this playthrough finished and trying to do it when I'm not kind of excited to do it. You know what I mean? Uh, I just, I just need a break. <laughs> Uh, when, I, when, when I'm when I'm when I'm doing this, I, I love it, right? It's not it's not like it's work. I really enjoy it, but it does take away from family time, and you know. So, this a uh, week a weekend, the week from from today, next weekend, it's going to be a four day weekend for me, and I'm I'm gonna basically just. Be with family and, and rest. 
So, but I will come back and I will hit it hard when I come back. Cause I'll be feeling, I'll be feeling good. And then I'll only have a three day week that week. Um, and so I should be able to do nice long streams, uh, the following weeks. So I just wanted to let you guys know that, uh, and, and I'll update it on my discord. I have a, a scheduler on my discord. I'll make sure that that gets changed. Oh, this one is needs to do a little adjustment, a little baby adjustment. So there you go. Consider yourselves fully informed. Now there's a couple of things. Uh, yeah, yeah, no, and I know you guys do, uh, but I just figured I would let you know. I will be streaming on my birthday, uh, which isn't actually that far away. Uh, it's uh, my birthday is Star Wars Day. May the fourth be with you. Pretty much the coolest thing about me. Um, which you know very much goes with the theme. Um, and maybe on my birthday, I was thinking. So this might be a terrible idea, but I was thinking about doing Friday nights. Uh, drinking whiskey on Friday nights and maybe whiskey on my birthday because I actually really do enjoy whiskey and I just sip it you know I taste it I don't I don't like shoot it I'm I'm way too old to, to shoot whiskey uh, but uh, <laughs> like I, I enjoy like tasting it and sipping it and stuff so I was thinking about doing some whiskey on um, on Friday nights and uh, you know and maybe kind of talking about it a little bit um, definitely not trying to get whis whiskey sponsors on purpose. Okay, but if it happens accidentally, right? No, we'll, you know, we'll talk. Uh, but, uh, yeah, I was thinking about, uh, incorporating some whiskey one stream a week. Uh, cause I miss it. I've been doing any, I've been doing any, I have not been doing any of that since I started my my weight loss competition, but like I said, that's almost over. So, um, I was thinking about bringing it, uh, doing some stuff and hanging out with you guys. Cause this, this channel has kind of turned more into like a hangout while I build gi ginormous buildings more than kind of, I thought it was going to be. <laughs> Sip every time I delete. Yeah, no, maybe no, I don't think so. That was the one I was going to fix. I don't want to count all the times I delete. That's, that's, that's really the reason. It doesn't need any more attention, uh, drawn to it. No, we'll just pretend it doesn't happen. Um, I have a couple of uh, good. All right, let me. All right, so I'm probably not gonna do this, uh, but you guys are like my. Um, I will enjoy one drink with you. Well, right, it's all good. It's just kind of like, it'll be it'll be, for me and something to talk about more than, more than anything. Uh, nobody would ever feel nobody ever feel obligated to. Uh, uh, to drink whiskey with me, but. I don't know. Maybe maybe we can make it a thing. Speaking of a thing, again, you guys are like my sounding board. Uh, Mikey, well, if you drink every time you delete, I can promise you, you won't be keeping count. <laughs> That's a good point, Mikey. My buddies and I, we used to have this, uh, this, uh, it was, it was shot glass chess. So the, they all the chess pieces were shot glasses and you know you would fill them you know the the white pieces up with something clear you know and then the dark pieces up with something you know dark uh, and then you could when you beat a uh, when you took a piece you know then your opponent had to take the shot 
uh the rules had my favorite line and it was cheating is permissible as long as neither player notices which i thought was freaking awesome for uh you know a drinking uh chess game those were the kind of friends i had in in college we those were our drinking games it was chess a freaking nerd um come hang on long island uh maybe uh okay so here's my idea okay here's my idea for a channel okay so and and you guys are exactly the, the well some of you are the target audience so let me ask well you could be the target audience let me ask you if you would watch a channel like this okay um so if uh hopefully you know if you're familiar with uh critical role okay so what they've done with D D. I want to do something like that, but with um, board games, but kind of the, not necessarily, I mean, sure, w would we play Catan? Sure, we would play Catan, but like longer board games, you know, and more variety. So, you know, for instance, there's this Dune board game, takes about three and a half four hours to play right it'd be it'd be something like that uh maybe going as far as to say uh twilight imperium twilight imperium can be like an eight hour or a, well okay it can be longer than that it can be like a, probably a 15 to 20 hour game probably uh but you know things like things like that um and then i'd have to set up cameras for the for the people playing and i'd have to set up cameras for the board but i was thinking like a live environment like like critical role um you know and that's uh you know and then we and we play that game um you know and and it would kind of be like once a week you know like on on a sunday kind of in the middle of the day and then uh and i'd have to have uh, a person kind of switching cameras and stuff for the live por portion almost like a like a producer but i mean i can set all that stuff up that's you know technical challenge but i can make it happen and then you know basically yeah board game so that's the first part right is the board game and you know where i'm going with this peewee you know exactly where i'm going obviously um and then i have some buddies that are let's just say that the four of us together i think are relatively entertaining like me by myself would be i think i'm pretty boring compared to these guys um and and we all kind of like uh do stuff together right and like we feed e off each other and and we've been buddies for a long long time and um you know the the the, the other three main people that i that i game with um and like I said, we play a lot of different games. We don't do D and D really. Uh, we do these longer style board games, and there isn't really a lot of people that do anything like that. There's a couple of very small channels that I've sort of found and researched, but you know. And then that's that's the first part. Uh, <laughs> card snooker and pool, you like, huh? Um, that's the first part, and then Pee Wee figured out the second part is we all drink whiskey like i got my like whiskey drinking start hanging out with them and like i said we we try different stuff we just we sip it and we we talk about it and stuff and so it'd be like combination 
like board game and trying different different bourbons and, and different stuff, right? And then, and talking about all of that. Uh, that's done. Oh my God, that looks so good. Look at that, you guys. That looks ridiculous. It doesn't look like satisfactory. Like, how do you make that shape in satisfactory? Uh, actually, I, I, I kind of feed off of them too. We, we feed off each other for sure. Uh, it isn't one-sided. I, I'm actually probably one of the lesser entertaining people of that group. That's kind of the irony of, of it. I know you guys only know me, but, uh, they're, they're, they're very entertaining. Um, and we're, we're entertaining together. 100%. Oh no, what happened? Um, and then, and then honestly, I would look for <laughs> the goal with that channel for the, you know, it would be for four of us, right? So any money we make, plus I, I would probably need to pay whoever's doing the live portion, whoever's kind of switching cameras and stuff. And then like whatever money we, I would, it would be in an, in an attempt to actually try to make a business. Um, because I'm trying to get five people, you know, four people besides myself to do something every week, right? Like it really would need to be kind of set up like a business. Um, the idea would be to try to get whiskey sponsor sponsorships, <laughs> but I think, I think, I think it could work. And you know, I, I high production quality. Right, uh, basically, almost like a, almost like a podcast, but with that's a, that's not gonna work at all. Um, you know, because we're because we would talk about all sorts of crazy stuff, right? And um, so it'd be kind of podcasty, and it would be live, right? And we'd interact with people that were watching live, you know, and then we'd have the the whiskey kind of talk combination with it. Um, so it'd be more podcasty than anything else, I think. Um, but I've been kicking around this idea for, uh, for a couple of years. And then my, my relative success with this channel, you know, and the fact that, you know, the money that I am able to make with this channel, which isn't a lot, but I would have a lot more resources that I could bring to bear on on that kind of a channel. You know, if that makes sense. Um, so it's something, it's an idea that I've been kicking around for a long time. And I think it would be fun. We would just be being ourselves. Um, and uh, I think we could, I think we could make it work anyway. Any thoughts would be welcome. Uh, I would probably do it every Sunday or, you know, obviously if it's holidays and stuff like that, we wouldn't do it, Mikey, but like, you know, critical role is once a week, right? Or at least they started off that way. And that would kind of be my blueprint for something like this. Um, trying to get sort of entertaining people together and play video games. I'm not video games, uh, board games. Right and 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 in a, in a live setting, that you know, and then there's no editing afterwards. There's no there. There's just the vod. You know, so it'd be a lot of production up front, but nothing on the back end. Right, and then obviously, just like Critical Role, if you go back and watch Critical Role's first like episodes. They don't have nearly pr the production value that they have now, of course, because they just they just didn't have the money and the expertise, right? And so the same thing would happen, right? We would start off at what I felt would be like high production value, but it's, you know, in the end, uh, you know, if we were able to grow it, you know, we would grow it more. Anyway. That's that's kind of my thought. Oh no, I got off. There we go. Uh, I just got to convince him. I've got one guy. I've got one out of the f uh, three, a hundred percent convinced. He's ready to start. Like he he's ready to go tomorrow. You know, um, 
He's he's on board. It's the other two, and they're brothers. The other two that would be tougher, a tougher sell. Uh, one of them, the the oldest brother, actually streams on Twitch. Uh, he streams video games on Twitch, so he he's connected to the whole thing, to the whole you know content creation. Um, you know, maybe you guys can go to his Twitch channel and tell him that he needs to join me on this. Um, he's a he's a small he's a small creator. He's a little bigger than me. Uh, he's a variety uh, gamer, but relatively small, just like me. Yeah, I think it would be hilarious. I mean, and then the games that we play, and we're super competitive too. Um, you know, and then we would have guest people coming in and we'd have a list of people that um, we would, uh, you know, because some, some, some games are six players, right? So there'd be the core four of us, but you know, we would bring in other people to play um, as well. And, um, you know, and we'd have people, if one of us couldn't make it, uh, or if one of them couldn't make it, I don't think we could do it without me if it's gonna be like at my, at where, at my house. Probably be at my house. Um, probably couldn't do it without me, but if one of them can't make it, then, you know, we have guests that come in and play with us. Um, you know, maybe get some, uh, make it so it's not just dudes. You know, that'd be nice for everybody involved. Um, but, uh, yeah, I don't know. It's kind of a thought I've been, an idea I've been kicking around for, for a while now. And then they, like I said, this channel just makes me want to do it more because I, because I, I've realized that there's at least some people that are okay listening to me talk, <laughs> right? Like. And I figure that's just me by myself. The four of us together, we we do work, you know? You placed one with a little air visible a few ago. Uh, Manila Doom, I'll go check on it. Thanks for the heads up. Uh, it's not Nerd. Nerd doesn't live nearby me. Nerd lives uh, to, to a state away. Well, California is very tall, so it's almost like two states away. And it would be in person. Like, everybody would be in person. Yeah, it would so work if the x rap MB folk can do it, you could too. They make it work the rap over guests as well as hot topics well right and i mean i don't know anybody i don't know anybody high profile or something like that but you know it'd basically be personality based um kind of what this channel is too i mean i know that people start watching this for the satisfactory and stuff but you guys that are watching the vods and 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 watching live for sure i mean you know i know that it's more of a personal, uh, personal connection. Um, yeah, those gaps, I saw those. I'm, I'm not gonna stress about those, but those are probably as big as I would want. Like when you get out here, you can't see them. Um, yeah, I'm not gonna worry about it. I could worry about it, but, and see, there's one right here, so. That one is a little bigger. All right, so I will say this. Doing on the, so down there, I was working on the bottom edge of these and this overhang was kind of helping. I may have to be a little bit, I may have to do this more. You know? Uh, it's a little bit, it's maybe a little bit different, 
but I, maybe I'll maybe I'll make an adjustment to exactly where I place these. That's gonna probably create a little bit of a gap. Yeah, but I'm okay with that one. Uh, but yeah, I I'll keep an eye on on that uh, Vanilla doom. Yeah, I wouldn't want to get any bigger though. That's for sure that It's interesting The way it places there's more of a kind of an overlap on the bottom That's why I didn't have any of that problem down here, but but up here. It's it kind of is it's a little bit different So I have to I'll have to be a little bit more precise up here. I think It really is just where this places. That's what's causing it. Uh, but anyway, that was a thought that I had uh, and I'd still love to do it. And you know, I I haven't mentioned this in a while, uh, but, I, but I am planning on moving sometime in the next, Basically, we're waiting for a house in the right high school attendance area for my oldest daughter. Uh, it's my old high school where, ironically, all, all four of us that I just talked about in the gaming uh, thing that we would maybe do, we all went to the same high school, obviously. We're all kind of high school buddies um, and, uh, and then college buddies because uh, we all went to the same college also. Um, but... Uh, they still all, we, we still, uh, they all live a lot closer to that than I do. I, I'm the one that kind of moved away and I'm trying to get my, my ass back there. See that, that gap's too big. That gap's too big, which means that I got to move this one up there for the overlap. But that means that I can move it towards me now less. So I just got to be, I have to be a little bit more precise on this upper piece. Uh, point being though when I do get my ass moved back there and I'm planning on getting a bigger house than I have now I'm actually gonna be um, uh, My my wife's father who is single is gonna be moving in with us um, So we're gonna have a bigger house uh, We're gonna have more space and we're gonna live in a um, It's it's a it's just a fact of the matter is it's a it's a nicer school than and a nicer area than where I'm living now why I'm moving um, and so the point is is that the type of house that I'm hoping to get there would have something like space to maybe pull off something like this and then you know those guys could show up I would sh I would really want to do once once a week on Sundays and then we you know if, if we have to cancel or something um, you know then we do but it basically be our version of a podcast yeah see that gap is really big um, but we'll see we'll see I'd love to do it I got I just got to convince them That it's worth the time because it would take a, a shit ton of time. I mean that takes Stuff like that takes a lot of time. I mean you're committing your Sundays away for you know, I would want to do it at least You know like Minimum a year Before we could tell whether or not it was growing I mean, they've all been investors in other of my businesses in our lives. Um, I used to flip houses and I raised investor money. And I think all three of them were, were investors in my 
in my business. But I think I think it would be fun, and um, I really think you know, basically, you know, I get a whis we get a whiskey sponsor, and then like we drink that whiskey and talk about it live. I think that would be fun, and I think I think it could make money too. You know, it'd have to be enough for four of us. Man, I, I actually really don't like that. I have to bump that guy up. See, now I have to do, because I did that, I have to do another one. Super irritating. Anyway. me my crazy rambling thoughts that's all Ray says I would totally watch that channel yeah like I said I, I think that they're more entertaining than I am we're definitely together more ir entertaining than me alone 100 percent no question You know, and then, and then, I mean, I think big board games too. Have big board games sponsor us? Why not? We just, just like, and then we like make it a joke too that like we're total sellouts. Like whoever wants to sponsor us, okay, like you know, make it kind of a, kind of a thing. You know, I would totally, I would totally do that. It's hard though. The one, the one younger brother of the 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 younger brother of the two brothers. He just had his first kid, and you know, um, it's hard. It's a it's a tough sell. Tough sell. But I'm trying. I'm trying. Maybe one day. Maybe one day. Try to get this a little bit better. I think. It's been working better if I half nudge. Whoa. -oh. If I half nudge the first one, that kind of. Set sets things in a, a better spot, I think. Yeah, that's that's a lot tighter. I think I need to make sure that I just half nudge the first one. Oh my god! But I hit the zoom, zoop. Uh, would it be broadcast on both YouTube and Twitch? Probably. I would probably do that, yeah. Joe Rogan talk shit. It would be fun to see me do the same. Yeah, I don't know. So let's see. In that group, what am I? 
All right, so the older brother of the two, he is like, he, he would be basically our version of the of the GM, right? Like he knows these games and he keep, he kind of keeps the games running. Um, he's, he, he's probably, uh, uh, I don't know. I guess, I guess him and I kind of both played different versions of the straight man. Uh, we're both the, we're both the older of the, of them, of everybody. We're the oldest over the same age, but his little brother and then the, the fourth guy is, are younger than us. Um, and then his little brother is very, uh, he's, um, uh, he's, he's kind of, a <laughs> hard to, it's hard to explain. Uh, I don't know. It's just, we just do really well together because we have such a history. You know? Uh, but would I, would I necessarily talk shit? Not necessarily. And then also one of the things that I kind of do because it's habit is that I sort of make fun of people without them knowing that I'm making fun of them. Like I'll make these like side comments or these jokes or something, um, that really uh, you know, I'm sure some people would get, but they don't always get them. Uh, the oldest brother usually does. Him and I are very similar, but I kind of make fun of the, the younger guys a little bit sometimes. Uh, but we definitely talk shit from, uh, to each other all the time. You know, I mean, we're dudes that have known each other for 20 years. You know? So, the, the shit talking, and we're all super competitive. Like, that Dune game that we play, man, like, we get into it. Uh, but we're also not stupid enough to, like, get upset about it, either. So we're not, like, that kind of competitive. I gotta do... That one's a real pain in the ass. Um, and it's something that we just like doing. We've been doing it for so long that... Just do what we do. I mean, we'll have to probably swear less. Uh... We don't really make off-color jokes. Mm, maybe a little bit, but not really. Not like anything bad, bad. Just kind of um, maybe not a joke that you would say in front of your mom. <laughs> but, you know, nothing like, nothing nasty, like bad, bad. Um, but we, I think we do swear a decent amount. I don't know, maybe we would. Or maybe not. I don't think, does, I don't think Critical Role, they don't, they really, do they swear? I don't, I don't know. I, I haven't watched them enough. I don't know them enough. That's the only thing I could think of that, but yeah, the, the shit talking is, absolutely real um, and then I always play the Harkonnens on the Dune game because I mean our whole I mean the last 20 years I was the giant fat guy so of course I have to play the, the Harkonnens in the Dune game but I'm less fat now. Haha, -ha, jokes on them. 
I'm still way fatter than any of the rest of them. <laughs> I'm, I'm definitely or was definitely the the fat friend and so the the fat jokes are just constant uh, but that's okay because I basically make fun of most of them for being stupid so it all it all evens out in the end um, this side is done you guys and it looks great um, let's take this opportunity to fix up this edge a little bit What are we gonna do with this? Hey, Rhino. Yes, yeah, swear less. Oh, they do a lot? Ray, like, were we talking like big F bombs or? Uh, uh, it looks awesome so far, the build, Manila Doom. Thanks, sorry, I wasn't reading chat. I was really focused in getting that in. Um, I think it would be awesome to have a podcast type thing. Will it be broadcast? Yeah, yeah, you missed my question earlier. Gary, I missed your question earlier. Uh... Oh, I did miss it. Do you play any games for fun yourself? I personally love Auto Truck Simulator too. So, uh, yeah, I mean, obviously I played this game for fun. Uh, let me, I need a break. Let me do some painting while I answer that question. And uh, I would probably, we, we like board, we like board playing games, uh, David. Uh, things, things like, um, can't remember the name of that Dune board game. I think there's more than one. I mean, Catan was like, look, I'm not gonna say that like me and my friends would win any like Catan national championships or anything like that. But we were super, super competitive within our group, right? And uh, we took it very seriously. We had a trophy made. Uh, what is, what the hell is this? What is that? We had a trophy made and we called it the Catan champion and then it had a little it was like a glass pedestal and then we poxied a, a little house you know when you build the houses or or a city the little city token on it and then whoever won the uh then when we'd all meet up you'd have to bring the trophy and then whoever won the most games while we played took the trophy home Right, so that's that's what we did. Um, so that was that's what we did. We didn't really do role playing or you know D and D. Um, you know, and then and then and then farther than that, even uh, games more games than Catan. Right, we would Catan was like the starting point, right, and then Twilight Imperium and. Uh, things like that followed. Uh, I would just use that edge and put a slight angle instead of straight across. Are you talking about that middle section, Gary? Uh, thank you for, uh, Ray, your, uh, to, to know, uh, for that information. <laughs> My scout. My mar market research scout. So that's probably pretty close to us. We don't, we don't, I don't say we, I don't think we swear a lot and use a lot of F words, but we would occasionally. Yeah, we had a trophy that we passed around. I can't remember who has it. I think it's at my parents' house. Um, Cause we stopped passing it around. I think, I think my brother, uh, who would not probably join us on any uh type of thing that i've been talking about uh he he was in general the one that won 
I think he got to keep it. Or maybe we just stopped playing and he happened to have it. And then um, he didn't take it with him when he moved out. I mean, that was 15 years ago. 10 years ago. So I think it's at my parents' house. <laughs> the trophy. Um, but anyway, uh, yeah, Gary Wilson. So right now I'm not really playing any games just for fun. The game that I was playing for fun is satisfactory. And I turned that into this. Um, and so the only video game that I'm actually really playing right now is satisfactory. Um, I did, I was playing a little Dyson Sphere to try to learn it. And I do enjoy that. And I still want to play that on this channel. Um, but at the moment, I just don't have any time. Uh, I'm either with family, I'm working. Um, I've been really focusing on this weight loss thing. I mean, I walk an hour and a half every day. It's five miles. It takes me an hour and a half, uh, usually. And I've been doing that for three months. And it's shocking the amount of time that takes up. I mean, obviously, it's an hour and a half a day. So it's like watching a movie every day. Do you have time to sit down and watch a movie every day? An hour and a half long movie? No. Well, it's hard, but it's important. And, you know, obviously I've reaped the benefits of doing that walking, but it's really cut into kind of game time. Uh, oh, a game that I play for fun. So, I, I mean, that, that that's not true. I, I lied. I do play a game for fun. It's just not a PC game. Uh, right now, I am playing a mobile game that I will probably play forever, um, as long as it exists. And um, I don't, I, I'm gonna tell you what this game is, but I am not recommending anybody play this game. I would not recommend that my, my worst enemy play this game, okay? Um, so don't, if you look and you decide to play this game, do not blame me. Okay, I will answer the question because it was asked, but I am not endorsing anybody start playing this game. It is a hero collector game and it is a microtransaction game and I have spent hundreds of dollars on it. Probably thousands. I have probably spent more than $2,000 on this game. Do not play it. I do not recommend it. Uh, but here's the deal. I like it. And I have money. <laughs> Relatively speaking, more than I've had my whole life. And... Uh, yeah, I spend about 50 bucks a month on it. So I look at it like a hobby. I've been playing it for uh, 18 months or so. And I spend minimum 50 bucks a month on it. So, you know, some people go to expensive golf clubs and golfing and I, I play that game. Uh, and I will be playing it for a long, long time. Uh, I do play that with, uh, I play that with Nerd Mikey. Uh, uh, yeah, Star Wars, Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Yeah, I whale, I whale, no, I'm not a whale. The, the, the true whales on that game are ridiculous, by the way. I'm a dolphin at best. 50 bucks a month, I don't think that's a whale. I buy the Conquest Pass and I buy, but yeah, it's Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Somebody, somebody guessed it in Twitch. Uh, I buy, the, I, I buy the conquest pass, but as soon as I get all the proving ground characters, sorry, I'm getting nerdy here uh, on a game that you guys probably won't ever play. But as soon as I get the proving ground characters, I'll stop paying for conquest plus. So that'll be 20 bucks less a month. Uh, and then I, I buy a couple other things. I buy another 20 bucks of regular, uh, I buy the cargo crate and I buy the Kairos, the $5 or the $10 in Kairos. So there you go. Ma uh, Manila Doom. Yeah, F uh, F2 Play plus OG Hyperdrive. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's how I started. You know, <laughs> that's how it always starts. Uh, good for you. Uh, I'm at um, six and a half million and I started last November. 
Um, I'm in a I'm in a 360 million GP guild. I'm an officer in it. So uh, it's it's very fun. Uh, you have to have time, um, but I do it while I'm walking. Uh, it's one of those things I can do when walking. It's a you know it's a mobile game. Uh, obviously, I have a decent phone, and uh, I just do my little things. Uh, I do my dailies. I haven't missed a daily in in a year and a half. I don't know. It's a little. It's kind of a calming ritual kind of for me. Um, and I like Star Wars, as you guys can tell. And uh, so, oh no, I'm dying. I forgot. We're on the edge of the map over here. 7.1. Yeah, you upgrade slow, three, three, three GLs. Uh, I got, uh, oh, I just got, um, sorry, I'm, 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 I'm really going into the, uh, the weeds here. Uh, our guild just unlocked Reva today, Manila, today. We unlocked Reva. So I was missing just like a uh like a hundred carbontes and fifty of something else. And uh but I'm ready to take her to nine uh day one. Oh my god. Uh but yeah, our our entire guild, oh like 30 people in our guild unlocked her today, which is kind of fun. Uh but I've got I have Jabba Executor. Obviously I have Executor, the Superstar Destroyer. I have this ship in that in that game. It's one of the first things I did. Uh, I have Jabba, Ray, and uh, I'll have Luke soon and Leia soon. Uh, but yeah, you know. And I got Reva. Counts, right? I think she's a GL. She's basically a GL. Uh, but yeah, like I said, six in six point four, I think, for me. Are you ulted SLKR today? Nice. I'll be alting Ray in less than a week. But I bundled them. I did the I did the hyperspeed bundles on on Ray and stuff. Uh, but we're pretty we're a relatively competitive guild so there you go there you go uh to answer your question uh gary I, that's a game i play for fun that i would probably never make content for uh there's one big content creator for that game and then there's like there's a king surrounded by like like in satisfactory there's a couple big players right but like we're all relatively i mean not we i'm not a part of that group but they they are all relatively i think it'd be easier if i paint these under here within like striking distance of each other right like uh oh not the right color in that game there is one mega content creator and then little, little guppies, relatively speaking. So that's not really something I want to try to break into. Everybody just watches the one big guy. And then they, they watch some of the other guys just to pick up little tips and tricks or, or maybe a little specialty information. But you don't even need to do that. Everybody just watches the the huge YouTuber. So it's not really something that I would even consider doing. Um, but yeah, so there you go. That's the long ass answer to that question. That looks good. Let's do this back. And then I think I've painted enough and we'll get back to work. hobbies are in real life jobs uh that is basically the way i play that game is kind of a job but i like it i like i said i would not wish that game on my worst enemy i definitely wouldn't wish that game on my friends
Like we even have some like counts that we could give away. I don't even like I was considering about talking to my sister about like if she wanted to pick up one of our uh, uh, extra accounts that my friend group and I had. And I didn't even want to give her a free account. So yes, don't don't play that game unless you have thousands of dollars of of money that you basically need an hour and a half a day and 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 I mean you can play it free to play. Don't get me wrong. You can you can play it free to play, but you probably won't end up playing it free to play and uh you're starting off behind. And so you're going to want to spend to catch up and you need time every day to play and but if you have extra money and you want to do something crazy and you love Star Wars, you have to love Star Wars. I mean like you got to love Star Wars. But if you do and you want to do something crazy, that game might be a fit for you, but It's dangerous. Why are these not changing color? Oh, because they were copies of each other. Or they, there was two there. Okay, I've painted enough. Let's do this area over here. Yeah, the trophy would need to make a comeback. Oh, for sure, we would do a trophy if we played those games. Dude, vanilla, same thing happened to me. Bomber, not seven star. Dude, same thing happened to me. It cost me two months. That's so funny. Exactly the same thing happened to me. All right, so Gary, let's see. I'm a dolphin at most. Yeah, Mikey. Uh, okay, I would use that edge and put a slight angle instead of straight across. Yeah, use the edge and do a slight angle instead of straight across. So let's see what they do. I, I don't disagree with you, Gary, on this. I got to rest a little bit. Time to get back to work. Um, these this This does have a slight angle. So let me see if I can find my mouse cursor. Where did you go? What is going on? All right, found it. All right, so this, I'm, I'm trying to really zoom in here. So this right here, this angle right there, see how it's not straight down? It's kind of angled. And then kind of angled like this. I exaggerated the angle so you guys can see it, but I'm I'm probably better with that than a straight angle across. So I think I'm gonna go with that ridge line. Uh, something along those lines, okay? No pun intended. Gary, I, I, I agree with you, I think. Um, Let's take a look. Do we got another picture? See how we wanna build this piece real quick. Oh, let me look at my model. I know you guys can't see it. Uh, my model doesn't have a clean edge there. It, it has something weird. So. That's a really cool picture. I haven't seen this one. Oh, it's a little small. Maybe that's why I haven't seen it. But this is a good one too. I, I like this. Okay, I think I know what I'm gonna do. We auto saving or something? Is that why I lost my? No, I think we're okay. Um, all right, so yeah, I think this angle back. I think, I think we, 
we go with the angle back. Get rid of this. I'm not going to use it. And then we probably just go with this angle that we have here. So... like this Um, no, not there. That's silly. A little bit further. That looks like it could be good. Yeah, I, I like that. I like that. I think that makes sense with the shape of this. I think it looks clean. Um, yeah, that 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 was annoying. Uh, Manila, I agree. Uh, it was not clear at all. It makes sense in retrospect, but like now that I know more about the game, but I at the time I was super pissed. Yeah, this didn't line up exactly the same. So try this again. Why is that off? Those, those should be the same. What if I try doing it in diagonal? Freeform almost gives it too much freedom. I have to do this one in diagonal as well. There we go. Perfect. Yes, that looks good. All right, so let's remember that. If diagonal will work, use the diagonal because it creates a little bit potentially less of a problem. Uh, 
Ben K Ben Klee, good morning. How's it going? Uh, we're just cleaning up these edges, um, and then hopefully we're gonna be able to start on the little little tower, and not too much longer. Uh, well, actually, I mean we're about halfway done cleaning up the edges. We've been going for two hours, uh, but we've also done a lot of painting and messing around with that. But we're just chatting and hanging out. Ugh, the tea is good, but it's getting cold. Even in my little thermosy mug thing that I'm using. Uh, so other games though, besides the mobile game that shall not be mentioned, um, I, uh, I'm looking forward to the crust. So that, that game's Kickstarter is going right now and they just got funded. So, um, and that is a game I will most likely play on this channel. So I'm telling you guys right now, right now, this channel is all satisfactory all the time because of the time crunch coming from, um, Uh, this 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 side is done Th that looks perfect because of the time crunch coming because of uh 1.0 okay uh when 1.0 comes out this channel is gonna uh, undergo some changes uh i'm gonna i'm d absolutely 100 percent going to start playing some other content and we will probably only have one satisfactory stream a week uh, w once 1.0 comes out and uh, maybe two maybe two but we certainly will not have three um, and I'm gonna play some different stuff I at that point maybe I can get Dyson Sphere playing um, it depends on if the crust um, comes out and what that looks like which looks like a very clean um, gotta get my I gotta get my uh, rhythm again you guys uh, factory building game I, I will probably play that uh, on the channel I, I became a backer. Um, oh, you know what I was gonna do? Uh, I was going to, and I think I'm gonna do this still. One of their add-ons, you can get keys, and I'll probably give away, a, uh, as part of my channel, uh, I'll probably give away some keys. Game keys for that game. Gotta do that before they're, the Kickstarter closes. I'm going to see if I can remember to do that tomorrow. I think I can get three keys for like the price of two. If I do do add-ons. And then I'll, I'll do some contests or I'll do some giveaways or something. Or whenever that game comes out. I'm not exactly sure when the launch is on that game. So. Obviously a lot of this. All the stuff I'm talking about is subject to fact that games don't always launch when they when we expect them to misfit how's it going um but you know my i love factory games all right and this is a factory game channel but I, I also play MMOs. Um, that's really my true love. I, I really messed that up. 
MMOs are my true, my true love, my true calling. Um, so I don't know if I would start a new channel. But there are some MMOs coming that I will probably play. And I will play them a lot. And I may... And it seems silly for me, to me, to play a game and not stream it. Like, if I'm going to really play a game, I have a streaming audience building or built. Why not continue to build that streaming audience while I play another game? Um, and I'm, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I slowly transition this channel into, you know, it's not like I'm going to start playing like RPGs or something necessarily, or like story driven games or still building games, right? Cause let's be honest. Most of this channel has not been about automating anything it's been about building stuff and the name of the channel is construction okay i kind of knew oh no i kind of knew this going in that i was i'm i'm repeatedly hitting the wrong button you guys um so i don't know Uh, there's a MMO coming that ha looks like it is a, it's a survival MMO that has a lot of construction in it. I think that might be viable for me to play on this channel. Uh, yeah, it's a good it's a good point, uh, Ray. I, I do actually enjoy the PVP, but I like large scale PVP. Uh, but I would focus if I, if I like, all right. So me and my buddies, we play Ark survival, right? And we play seven days to die. Um, you know, those survival type of games, but I'm the guy that stays at the base building stuff, you know, and the same would be in this this MMO that I'm thinking of, it's very far away though, I think. It's a uh, Dune Awakening. Anybody seen that? There is blueprints in the game. Or I guess there will be blueprints in the game. And um, you can actually sell them. Um, like in game, for in game currency to other players. And I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you, that of course, as you know, like got me all excited got me all hot and bothered so that could be something that we do um that i do on this channel uh, but i know how i play mmos and i play them very intensely so i would probably get you would, on this channel you'd probably get everything you know because there's more to an mmo than building uh, there is some PvP in that game. I don't think it's as in, intense as other others, but maybe, maybe I don't, I don't know for sure. Obviously, the game is not even really close to being out. Um, but I was just thinking about that. That could be, that could be cool. Uh, there's a couple other MMOs that I will probably play, but maybe are not a good fit for this channel. Although maybe, maybe so, now that I think about it. So there's one called Camelot Unchained. They actually have a pretty intense building um, portion of their game too. Um, that could be, that could be something that I do, but they're very PVP heavy. So I don't know, it's it's just stuff I'm thinking about because you know, I'm gonna play 1.0 and it and satisfactory is gonna be um, a regular staple of this channel forever because I just love it too much. 
but there will be other things that get played here i don't know if I, i'm ever gonna do like true variety because i don't play a lot of different kinds of games i basically only play three three types of games these automation games like satisfactory or mindustry or you know dyson sphere i play survival type of games with heavy building in them and i do the building i don't go and tame the dinosaurs in arc survival right i i build the base um and then mmos and i do enjoy the pvp aspect of mmos but i'm not super good at it i'm old and i'm slow uh but any mmo that has building as a part of it um and then i do have another strength i um so i i have uh raid leaded raid led raid leaded that poked out too much uh pvp raids for a long long time uh large scale i'm talking like 60 versus 60 versus 60. i played um guild wars 2. there was a mode called world v world versus world i played on one of the most competitive servers in the game um if anybody was familiar with world v versus world i will totally nerd out with it with you for a while on it as long as you did not play on the server sanctum of Rawl because then we can't be friends but other than that um as long as you didn't play on sanctum of Rawl, then we're fine uh but i i would enjoy those large scale uh kind of open world pvp fights where i kind of manage the raid uh, you know, shot call it or whatever you want to call it. Raid lead. I love the building mechanics in Valheim and Enshrouded. Yeah, so Valheim's something that I... So, I think, I think, I think, I think the company that's doing uh, Dune Awakening, they've done a survival... A survival... A su survival builder game before. I don't know if it was... Valheim? It might have been, though. So I don't know if someone wants to look that up, but uh, it's very build. The idea, it's very build heavy. You basically design the play, all the player buildings. I have heard of Captain of Industry. Um, to me, there was, if I was going to play another game like Satisfactory, there seem to be Dyson Sphere programs seem to be the one that really struck me as the one that I would needed to play. Captain of Industry, um, I don't know a lot about it, from, but from my research, Captain of Industry just seemed like a not as good version of Satisfactory slash Dyson Sphere. But maybe I'm wrong. I, I could absolutely be wrong, and I don't mean to diss anybody's favorite game um but seemed lower on the priority list for me to try since i have so much limited time uh M manila uh all right hold on i gotta catch up on chat you guys have been chatting oh i've been um building uh, i should get a coffee mug warmer yeah maybe Uh, what MMOs do you play? Uh, Manila, I'll talk about my MMO history more in a minute. The Crest looks really good. I recently upgraded my PC to a, yeah, uh, i9-14 and 4090 graphics cards. So looking for a game to take advantage of the new specs. Also waiting for a load of MMOs of racing gear to turn up. Yeah, steering wheel paddles. Nice. Uh, yeah, I answered, answered Captain of Industry. Hey, hey, Gizmo. I uh, used to play WoW back in the day, loved it, but PvP just became a bigger and bigger part of it, and too much of it started forcing you to take part in large groups to really get anywhere. Yeah, I, I can understand that. Um, I also played WoW. I mean, I think a lot of people that consider themselves gamers at some point played WoW. Um, 
it was never really my favorite MMO. And the reason is, is because I actually played an MMO that predates WoW. And um, it was the Star Wars one, shocker. Uh, Star Wars uh, Galaxies. Uh, it came out maybe six months before World of Warcraft did. I think they actually rushed the finishing of Star Wars Galaxies to beat World of Warcraft to the market, perhaps. Um, but I'm just really sad that World of Warcraft won and Star Wars Galaxies lost. I mean, obviously it lost, right? Um, I love that game. And to be honest with you, I've been chasing sort of the crafting vibe and just the open world vibe of that game ever since. And there, there isn't real, and the sandbox, the sandbox nature of that game ever since. I loved Star Wars Galaxies. Loved everything about it. I loved it before the combat upgrade. Um, Sony basically destroyed that game, unfortunately, but um, it was, uh, it was, it was very, very awesome. And it was 20 years ago now. And uh, in my mind, no crafting, no crafting has come close to a game that's 20 years old. I loved how they did that, how they did the crafting in that game. Absolutely amazing. And uh, I'm sad that we haven't been able to make anything nearly as good as that. Now, having said that, it never really had very good PvP, and 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 I do like PvP. Um, on a large scale, right? You could you could fight people and stuff, but there were issues with the combat. I uh, mostly the crafting is what was amazing about that game. Um, and then I got into Guild Wars two a few years after after Star Wars Galaxies, and that's where I know Mikey from. Uh who I talk to in Twitch all the time. Uh, I've known Mikey in my gaming life for what, 15 years probably? 12 years, something like that. And um, I really started, uh, I led a 300 plus man uh, guild um, in Guild Wars 2 for years, years and years and years. Um, I stopped, it's still going. The, the guild is kind of still going. It's not, it's a shadow of what it once was, but I, I had to stop. I had uh, at life, I wanted to play a different game. I got kind of discouraged with the, the direction the devs were taking the PVP in Guild Wars 2. Um, and I, I had to stop. The, the guild never died, it's still alive. Uh, I just, couldn't do it anymore. Uh, it's by far the most successful, successfully run guild I've ever had. Um, and I and I didn't do it alone. I had really, really, really good officers. I had really good recruitment officers. Um, uh, and then I was in the, so like I said, we played on a really competitive server for the World Vicious World and World Vicious World, we would have servers the entire we would fight an entire server and then it was um it was a three-way fight like a free three-way free-for-all so you could manage double teams and you know you could uh it was it was a lot of fun it was a great it was a great game um and uh, i was one of the better uh we called them commanders or shot callers basically pvp raid leaders on the server i had for years i did command i called it commander training and i would i would teach other people on our server how to do what i did because uh, it was a very it was, it was a it was a it's a game mode that went 24 7 and um and you had to ca uh, capture castles and keeps and stuff and hold them and then you would score points for how long you held them. Um, but then, you know, at night and you would upgrade them and stuff. 
but then at night you know when everybody went to bed there would be less people to defend them and so you know you, the enemy would come and 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 take them uh you know what you worked on which and then we would do that to them uh and it was really competitive i mean it was really competitive we had a thousand man um team speak server uh they got ddosed repeatedly often because we had a server for the entire we had a, a team speak server for the entire server so it was an, it was a thousand man server and all of our raids were interconnected and we could um you know i could hit a, a button and i could speak to the other raid leaders you know instantly over you know that weren't in my channel so we could coordinate like cross map like hits and stuff like that um and like i said we we took it extremely seriously um and uh like i said we got ddosed our 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 team speak which we crowdfunded with everybody on the server gizmo i'll talk about that in a second um and we went to actually a ddos protection company because we put money together to defend it and they like the first three companies laughed at us they they thought we were insane there's like nobody would ddos attack a team speak server for a video game and we're like but yeah but but they are like that's how crazy this was um you know and you would think having a thousand man team speak server you could never talk you could never do anything you could never like but it it worked we had it down we had some amazing administrators um you know, i didn't do any of that I, I would just come in and 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 lead the fights but um it it was it was crazy the the kind of shit that we did uh it was a lot of fun and i and i i would do something like that again when it was at when it was at its best it was unbelievably good um and honestly and looking back i didn't know how good it was i would have kept going for years i think i should have no it's always like that right you you, you look you, you see problems and you're like oh there's problems here the next game will be better you know the next game will fix these problems the next game will stand on the shoulders of this game but that's not how it works in reality you know now i'm old and jaded and like i know that that's that's not how it works at all you know so anyway sorry i'm i'm ranting but classic uh, so yeah, Ash is a creation. I, I agree. That one also looks really, really good. That is the other one that I would play. So I, I have three MMOs on my, on my screen, on my, that I'm looking forward to or looking at right now. Uh, it's Camelot Unchained. Um, it has the really good building and supposedly really good PVP. We'll see that that's been crowdsourced and has been going forever so i am not holding my breath for it but i'm watching it uh and then uh dune awakening which may be the sooner of the the soonest of the three but it looks interesting it looks fun and that's the one where you can sell the blueprints and it looks like it has a really a really good building system as well and then ashes is ashes of creation this looks really good as a general overall MMO. Like it's it's trying to be the MMO to beat all MMOs. So we'll we'll see. I I don't know. I don't know if I could transition this channel into an MMO live stream, but maybe. Maybe, 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 maybe we just maybe maybe we do. And I don't know if I really want to like do what like Bits does where he has multiple channels, like one for satisfactory type games and then one for i think i think everything would have to be together for me um but i would still be very careful about the types of games that i play again i wouldn't be like 
true variety where I jump from, because I don't really do that. I don't jump from game to game. Like when Power World was like, I don't play that way. I don't play games like that. Where like, oh, this is the game that everybody's playing right now. That's that's not the kind of gamer that I am really. I I play one game and I learn everything about it and I I become skilled at that one thing. I'll play like one game for years. Uh, I don't really jump from title to title. Like, okay, so like what? In the last six months, right? What'd you have? Everybody was playing Hogwarts Legacy. Like everybody, right? And then that that went away, right? And then uh, I'm sure I'm missing some in the middle here, but then like, like Pow World was a thing, right? And everybody played it. Everybody was playing it. Right, and then and then Pal World died, and then not died, but then they people went on to other things, and now everybody's playing Hell Divers, like like everybody I know is playing Hell Divers, and and that's fine. That's just not how I game. I pick one thing, and I and I really focus in on it. So if I were to do a a type of variety game channel it wouldn't be like that kind of a thing where i would jump from game to game i'd be very careful about what i picked and i would make long series of of that if that makes sense i wouldn't you know i might try something new like like i may try something that's automation related or something but I wouldn't just play a game because it's popular. Unless it was really connected to what my audience kind of wants and I would have to want to play it too. I mean, I think that's really what it boils down to. I, I would have to want to play it. And like I said, I really only play three types of games. These, these building and automation games, uh, the building game that's in like um, survival type of game, and then MMOs. And, and more buildy MMO type games, more than pure PvP type games. All right, that side's in. We have three out of four sides done. That looks so good. All right, let me catch up on chat. Uh, yeah, dude, Star Wars Galaxies was such a good game. Yeah, Mikey, I didn't, I, I don't know if we've ever talked about that. Uh, yeah, there were war councils with little secret meetings. We did. We had war councils in, um, in Guild Wars 2. Um, there was treachery. Uh, it was a, it was a, it was a, it was a thing, you guys. It was insanity. Kind of, the kind of crap that happened. It would, so much politics. So much time, so much energy. There were spies that would come to our servers. There was, uh, you know, sabotage, like I said, DDoS attacks. Uh, we took that shit seriously. And I'm not gonna say that I was the best uh, PVP raid leader on our server, but I was in the top, I was in the top five, I think. I think I can be fair to say I was in the top five. I have a good story about that. Uh, oh, you haven't heard of Helldivers? Oh my, everybody seems to be talking about Helldivers. You didn't get the hype around Pal World. Well, so I don't know. I think Pal World is a. Uh, I think you had to be born at a certain time, and be a Pokemon junkie, and I think Pal World makes a lot more sense.
Boundary will release in May. Uh, so yeah, Control Soft, I saw that Bits, I didn't watch the video, but I saw it pop up on my feed. The Bits talked about Foundry. Um, I, uh, I, will, I will look at that. I have a feeling that I'm not gonna be able to fit anything in May. Uh, I'm interested and maybe I play it once or twice for funsies. Uh, and maybe as a possible draw for um, people to the channel, but I'm so fixated on finishing this, this save, maybe to the detriment of my channel, that I don't know if I have the time for anything like that. Especially since in June, I am going on a 15 year anniversary trip. So I would want to start something new while I'm trying to finish this in time for 1.0 to be here, as well as getting ready to leave uh, just a few weeks later. But could I pick a Friday and, and stream Foundry for everybody uh, for funsies and not like overly commit to it or anything? Maybe, maybe, maybe. Oh, this, all right, we can come out to here, I think. I got into the habit. Is that a gap? That is a little bit of a gap. So I guess not, I guess we can't. Last time I was here, King called me a troublemaker. I'm still not sure how to feel about it. Well, I mean, you were probably uh, consorting with the other troublemakers and uh, I lumped you in due to association. I'm sure that's what happened, Misfit. You were hanging around with uh, Lina and Pee Wee and uh, John Jarrett, I bet. That's probably what was happening. Yeah, that's exactly what happened. You triple team trolled me. I lumped you in with them. I think you were here when I was just starting the this uh, this one. This build, right, Misfit, if I remember correctly? Like the first or second night I was starting this. I don't know if I've showed you or if you've been able to see. Uh, but there that's what we're that's what we're doing. That's what we got going on. And it's looking great. Uh then I would think uh wouldn't think anything of it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's all jokes. Uh, oh yeah. No, we hang out. We have a good time. I mean, guys, if you go back and watch VODs from when I first started, like VODs 1, 2, 3, 4, I, um, I don't have anybody watching. Like, nobody, nobody watched. So... I give I give my um, troublemakers a hard time, but thank you for being here and making trouble because uh, I've I've played the I've played this with nobody watching and it sucks. So I make jokes, but thanks for being here. Hey, 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to do the wider. That's gonna take forever. That little thinner one I was doing to make sure that there's none of these little gaps. That's taking forever though. I'm having to do twice as much. So we're gonna have some little gaps. I, I tried, but we're gonna have to go with this. I'll do excited your top tier and the build is looking amazing. Oh, thanks, man. I appreciate it. I just said I wasn't going to do that and then I did it. it. Needs to go here. Well, and thanks for watching and thanks for being here. And that goes for everybody, too. You know, um, you know, even if you if you watch me regularly and even if you don't, you know, talk a lot in the channel or whatever you know you guys being here and uh you know i'm only doing the live streams now um i'm not doing the the edited videos and um you know i'm still got a little bit of an income coming in uh, and it's from you guys watching and liking the the live streams um this is still making me enough money to where i can sort of continue to um I'm using it to kind of finance my wife's channel and sort of equipment that we're doing with that. And I'm paying my um, my sister-in-law to, um, I think this one, we do have to do that, uh, to help me edit um, my wife's channel and the videos that I do over there, uh, at least until my wife's channel starts to do better. Um, so it all makes this possible. No. And like I said, I, I've said this before, I, I don't necessarily like do this for the money, but it matters. So I, I appreciate you guys watching because that stuff does, that stuff adds up, you know? So thank you. Plus it's just more fun. The The fact of the matter is, it's just more fun and more enjoyable to, to hang out with, with people rather than talk to myself because I can only do that for so many years and people are going to start to, you know, ask questions about, you know, ask some uncomfortable questions about my mental state. I'm not careful. Uh, I think the trolliest out of all of you is Peewee. Lina comes in at a close second. Uh, John Jared is like the least trolly of the troll. Uh, well, probably Misfit is probably the least trolly, but only because he's relatively new. Uh, but John Jared is, is, and Misfit are definitely the two least trolly. Uh, that's a hell of a trip. Hell of a long trip. 15 years. Oh, what did I mess up? Oh, I messed something up here. That's not good. Uh, can't remember what we were talking about. Um, very hell of a long trip. 15 years. Probably one of my MMO stories. Uh, the one thing I really love about chatting while gaming, monotonous tasks go by really fast. Yeah, I mean, we're we're hanging out, you know, and, you know, I got the repetitive nature of what I'm doing and it's relaxing vibes and decent music and listening to me tell stories. I mean, you know, there's worst ways to spend your evenings. And we get to see something really cool being built. I mean, that's cool. Nice.
Oh yeah. Yeah, no, no. Pee-wee for sure. Uh Lina is so Lina <clears throat> Lina is sometimes not trolly at all. So here's the thing with Lina. She she seems not trolly at all a lot of the time. But then when she gets going, she's she's up there. <laughs> Ray, I don't even really consider you trolly really at all. You just you just you engage, but I don't I don't consider you to be too trolly. You don't want that award? Okay, well, and then you know you're gonna have to <laughs> you know. All right, all right, all right. I I will I will take back that reward, but just know if something happens, I'll be like, see, <laughs> this is why Pee Wee. I mean, let's be honest. It's not actually trolling because you know, you, you, you wouldn't still be here. It's like friendly trolling, big trolling. Uh, all right. How are we doing? Uh, we halfway, maybe close. I do have a little story to tell. Uh, YouTube fighting for class clowns. Twitch thinks you guys are fighting over, over class count clowns. Oh, you said you're going on a 15 year anniversary trip. Yes, 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 yes. That's right. Um, yeah, I am. Uh, I am going. I've talked a little bit about it on the channel, but um, I am going on a um, uh, Alaskan cruise with my wife. I got married when I was 25. You don't know whether to be flattered or disappointed, Ray? You should be flattered. How's your bandwidth with two streams? Uh, bandwidth is good. I live in the city, uh, Killer Rain. Like it's technically in Sacramento, the city of Sacramento, but it's like a it's 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 like suburbia of it. But we've got the fiber optic, we've got the one uh, the gig network. Uh, the uploads are great. Uh, you know. Oh, Gary, I, I got you. I I get I get your joke. Gary on Twitch, 15 year trip is a hell of a long trip. Yeah. I'm not taking a 15 year long trip, you troll. Gary Wilson's gonna uh, take the uh, temporary crown. Maybe we'll treat it like uh, we'll treat it like I I treated the um, the trophy with my group of friends with Catan. Maybe it'll be something that uh, changes hands. Whoever's the trolliest for the day. Except I wouldn't want to encourage. <laughs> I wouldn't want to encourage you people. <laughs> you people. Uh, yeah, yeah. Good point. Good point, John. Stop calling the Senate building a giant mushroom and maybe Ken won't label you as head troll. Maybe I should give out, maybe I can give out badges. Make a, make a nice trolley one. Or Pee Wee. No, he calls it a lampshade. He calls it a lampshade. That's what it was. Like, oh, the lampshade, man. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the lampshade. Um, See, you're all you're all a bunch of trolls. Katan. Uh, we call it uh, Katan. Yeah, we call it Katan. Sorry. Uh, 
I live in California and uh, I do not call it Catan. And that that that's that's never gonna change. I've been calling it that for 20 years. Sorry, it's Catan. I'm sorry if I offend you. Uh, if 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 that if my pronunciation <laughs> if my pronunciation of that board game is what causes us to part ways, then I'm sorry. But also not sorry. <laughs> Yeah, sorry. That 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 is Catan to me. Like, have you ever read a book? Like you're reading a book and then you know this made up person's name, you start pronouncing it in your head a certain way, and then like you go to later like hear like somebody speak it out loud or or in an audiobook and it's completely different than what you were saying in your head. And then you were like, yeah, no, screw that. It's still, you know, this other thing. You know, what I've decided. I'm going to keep it what I decided. I don't care if it's wrong because I don't want to, I don't want to change my brain that much. I don't know. Maybe that's just a me thing. Maybe I should stop hitting the wrong button. Maybe that'd be nice. Chat is chat Twitch chat is now agreeing with YouTube chat that you got that YouTube chat has a point that the Senate building looks like a giant mushroom and not a Senate building. Um I mean, yeah, it does. It does, okay? But you don't have to hurt my feelings. You know? Just because something's true doesn't mean you have to say it. Like I called, I called you, I called him a troll, not a liar. Okay. What he's saying isn't, you know, by definition incorrect. That's why it hurts. That's why it's a good troll because it's true. You know, the calling I don't know why all these trolls are so food related, but, but calling the Senate building a mushroom doesn't really bother me. But if you want to get my goat really quick, just call my belt work spaghetti because I, I'll, I'll have a little mini meltdown. You know, you, you guys just, you say hurtful things and you know, expect me to not react. No, I love the lurkers. You lurkers are the best. <laughs> I'm going to say a totally dickish thing. Uh, you lurkers, uh, you know, you guys give me, uh, you feed me the watch time, but then I don't have to deal with your trolley comments. Lurkers are the best. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh... I appreciate everybody who takes time out of your busy lives and spends it watching my content. It really helps boost my ego, which as I'm sure you guys know by now, it's very fragile. It's a very fragile thing. I need constant ego boosting. not lasagna yeah it's layered maybe 
Can reminds me of the movie. Yeah, you can't handle the truth. I can handle it, you know, but it'll hurt my feelings. My sensitive feelings. I tell you who was actually legitimately trolling me a couple of was that last week was uh eye in the sky about the the uh he was legitimately trolling me about the the metric conversation we were having pretty funny actually Stop talking about food, people. <laughs> uh, I get to eat tomorrow, though. Uh, tomorrow's my last uh, scheduled eating day before the end of my weight loss competition. Uh, I did not eat tonight. I had, um, I just had a can of, uh, I didn't like have a meal. I did have a can of, um, a really nice uh, tuna for like high protein, low calories. I had 130 calories today. Uh, and then I'll eat 2000 calories tomorrow for like the final meal really until the end of my competition. And then probably like Wednesday, uh, I will probably eat another one of those cans of tuna. I mean, I have beef broth every day or uh, bone broth every day. That's like 14 calories. That doesn't that doesn't really count. You guys are all talking about lasagna. That's fine. I'm actually really not craving that. And tomorrow will be good. I'm going to sit. I'm going to watch a show with I'm going to binge watch a Netflix show with the wife. And I'm going to uh, eat some good food and I'm going to get mentally ready for this next week it'll be a good Sunday I'm going to sleep in because I'm staying up late tonight hanging out with you people Um, that's not right. Go. Oh yeah, I in the sky. He does now. If you guys want to troll my comment section in the in the the vods of actual YouTube, please do so. Uh, because YouTube really likes when that, that it loves that engagement. So. He was actually talking about not joining my discord because he was like, no, nah, I'm old and I don't want to like join a discord. At least I think that was him. And I kind of was like, yeah, I don't want you to join the discord either. I want you to keep blowing up my comment sections with your with your talking because YouTube likes that engagement and um, it. I don't get any <laughs> like I don't get any benefit from the engagement I get from discord with, for, from you guys. So troll away on uh the youtube comment section bring it on i i will take it but it is hard to he does a pretty good job of linking when um what he's talking about but when we when he first started talking to me about stuff He'd be like, oh, well, this and that. And I wanted to be like, bro, it's the next day. 
I'm exhausted. I have no idea what the hell you're talking about. But then he started linking, um, doing the little time links. So then I can click into the video and I can see what he's talking about. And I don't always have time to answer them ex as thoroughly as I probably should. Uh, but I, I do, I do what I can. Um, and I, 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 I think I answer, uh, all of them, pretty much all of them. But I'm just, uh, I'm just really, you know, grateful that somebody, you know, uh oh, wrong button again, uh, is that engaged with what I'm doing, you know? I mean, that's cool. You know, it takes time to keep track of what I'm doing. He's like, uh, you know, he's a super fan of what I, of what I'm doing. And all you guys are too, really. Especially if you're watching live, uh, not there. Gotta be getting close. I don't even want to look behind me. I want to be pleasantly surprised when I get to the end of this. I don't want to look back and think that I'm a lot closer than, than, than I actually am. I think it disappointed how much further we have to go. So we're just not going to look. It's like when you know, you're not eating well over the holidays and you don't want to get on the scale. Cause you're like, mm, I don't want to know. Or like, you know, you're spending too much money and instead of being responsible and like checking your bank account, you're like, mm, I'm just not going to look. That's what I'm doing now with the end of this building section that, that I'm working on. I'm just, I'm just not going to look. Ostrich strategy. Uh, yeah, that looks right, right? If I can't see it, it doesn't exist. Not count calories, like why is it a thing? Uh, yeah, I and this guy gets fully uh, engaged in his combos. Hey, yeah, morning, uh, Sasha. He does, he does. Well, he's like me, right? I mean, you know, uh, he 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 knows what he likes, and he uh, is intense. I can I can. Uh, Appreciate that. Injured spirits. What are you guys? T okay. <laughs> food to be all. Good food eaten in good company contains no calories. Oh, I wish. I'd, w I'd weigh a lot less. not count calories like why is it a thing um i think you're i think you're kind of joking there peewee but you know i i i will have to probably the rest of my life because if i don't i know what happens i get very large but i think you were joking i wish it didn't have to be a thing but I no longer, you know, I'm, I'm built for like manual labor. Like I can work my ass off all day long, but, and I can eat that way too. But unfortunately I don't. And so I have to go to the gym and pay money to exercise my body so that I don't get overly fat. Like talk about first world problems. Like I have so much food 
and I eat so much food on accident that I have to go and purposefully find ways of expending energy. It's kind of crazy. Like, the whole idea of going to the gym is kind of crazy if you stop and think about it. But... I don't want to die early. <laughs> I mean, I'm okay with dying early, I guess. I just don't want it to be self-inflicted. <laughs> Um, and I actually really do enjoy the way my muscles feel when I when I work work them out correctly. Reminds me of when I competed in sports. Speaking of that, I think you forgot one row of foundations was working on the bottom, the second row from the start of the platform. What, like over here? You mean over here, uh, Misfit? I mean, Gizmo? Love to stay for the rest of the stream, but I gotta get some sleep. Uh, yeah, keep up the good work. All right, I will, Gizmo, or, uh, Misfit Nightman. Thanks for, th thanks for being here. Appreciate it. Uh, Mikey on, uh, Twitch. Exactly, Telly. I feel like trolls are a class in RPG. They have the level up. Some people are low level and some are high level. Then there is people like Nash who are just level capped. Yeah, that's true. One of our one of our friends who used to play uh used to play games with. He is a his 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 troll level. He has weak reached maximum troll. He's a real troll. You guys are just having a good time. Nobody in here is an actual troll. Hey, Sharwin. Oh, uh, we lost Misfit, Misfit, but we gained Sharwin. How's it going? We've almost finished the first task for that I set myself for the evening. And we're about to start the second task. Though we could call it part one and part two of our of our evening. You do heavy manual labor if you can believe your Fitbit. It says I burned 36 calories a day, 3600. Yeah, so the Fitbit isn't very good. I mean, I'm sure you know, you kind of made that reference if you can believe it basically you can't <laughs> if you do want something what uh one thing that i would definitely recommend is there's an app called um <laughs> mikey <laughs> screw you mikey uh there's an app called macro factor that if you weigh in um at least once a week uh more often is better and you track your calories, it will tell you what your actual energy expenditure is. Um, and Cause Fitbit is not very good at that. Yeah, I haven't finished it yet, Ken, slacker. See, Sharwin, Sharwin's joining the team of trolls. That, is that your, um, I'll go down there and check that gizmo later. Uh, is that your tryout? Uh, <laughs> Sharwin to join the team troll? Sorry, that's my ignorance. Hey, anything and everything in moderation didn't mean or sound like that. No, no, it's fine, Pee Wee. No, no worries. Um, yeah, it's, it's, um, I, I, I don't eat. So like, I, I can't tell you why, but I, I don't, even when I was gaining weight and stuff, I, I didn't eat that much but I still got super heavy. Um, I would say that I eat anything and everything in moderation too, and yet I still got 380 pounds. And I know that that would be really hard for certain people to believe. Um, for instance, my my brother, he, he, he eats anything he wants. I mean, literally anything, desserts, 
uh, sodas, sugary stuff, pizzas, and he can eat as much as he wants, and he looks the same. I can't, I just, I can't do that. My my body is designed differently. I, I don't know the science. I can't tell you why. All I know is, is that I cannot do that. Because I've done it. And it does not work. I have to be very, very specific. I have to make sure that I eat really filling food that is high in protein, um, high in fiber, and and high in fat because fat is is filling uh because if i just kind of eat until i'm full uh or until i want to stop eating i guess then uh i get huge uh so you know uh there's more to it than that right that's a way over simplification but the calorie counting helps for me uh, I'll I'll sum it up with that. So Mikey, Mikey on Twitch says, uh, "Hey Ken, what are what what are what are those new animals here? Let me read it. Uh, Yo Ken, there are new creatures in the game. What are those creatures at the back of the ship? Yeah, he's trying to trick me into figuring out how much I have to go until I'm done with this. But your your trickery won't work on me, Mikey." I have to stop I have to stop talking about trolling because I think you guys are now like competing with each other. Damn it, Ken is too smart. It it it, it didn't really take that much brains there, Mikey. <laughs> I was like, oh, a new creature. So oh, there's one on the back of the ship. Let me turn and look. A flying Dorito. There actually is a... In that Star Wars hero collecting game, there is a ship that actually does look like a flying Dorito. Not this one, though. When people go to sleep, they breathe differently. Some will breathe out fat and some people will breathe in fat. That's just a brain wrinkle I have. Yeah, I, I don't know. If, I don't know. If, I don't know how true that is there, Gizmo. Um, it's it's overall activity in the day for sure. Uh, there is a metabolism difference. Like it's proven that people just it takes different amounts of energy to keep different people alive. Like, it's measurable and documented. There are people with higher and lower natural metabolisms. Like, it's a fact. It's a thing. Uh, you know, and that's part of it. But it's also the, you know, my brother's a mechanic. I work on L, uh, Excel sheets all day long. Right, he he's gonna have a natural, naturally higher burn. I hit the wrong button of calories than I am. Uh, but also, if if we laid in bed all day, if we both, neither of us moved a muscle all day long, he would burn more calories than me. I, I know that for a fact. So. It's it's a lot of things, right? Um, and I'm I'd be the first to admit I don't have the healthiest relationship with food. I have some you know I talked about it last stream. I have some things that I gotta that I that I struggle with. You know? Oh my god! I gotta stop hitting the wrong button. Uh, but yeah, the calorie counting actually does help uh, me deal with those. Cause I can make a plan, and it's science based, right? It's it's a it's a objective objective number, right? And I can be like, look, if I 
I eat, you know, this many calories a week, then I won't get heavy. I won't fight this thing that I've been having to fight my entire life. Right? And, and then I know, okay, I can do that and still feel full if I eat these foods. Oh, we're done, guys. So it all it all works together. It's all all together. We did it. There we go. Do a little uh oh man, with those edges cleaned. Oh, it looks so freaking good. All right, we got to get the ridge line in. Ridge line's next. I do not skip leg day. I like my leg day. I actually really enjoy the feeling of my legs being so sore that I can't even walk. Um, all right. So let me grab my notes because in theory, the top slope should be the same as the bottom slope. And we worked really hard to get a really accurate bottom slope for the ridge line. So let me see if I can find my notes. I have a bunch of papers here. Here we go. Um, uh, what was, where's the scribble? Um, is it still on the, where was I doing this work? Is it here? No. Rise over run. Oh no. Can we hit back? Can we hit back? Can we hit refresh? One over 35? What if we hit forward? One over 36? Two over 71. That's the ticket. Let's write this down. I swear, I, I thought I wrote this down somewhere, but I couldn't find it. Two over 71. I'm pretty sure that is our... Oh, I did find it. I wrote it down right next. I'm such an idiot. I literally wrote it down on my page of notes right next to the last place I wrote it down. I was like, I can't find it. I'll just write it. And then right next to it was the two over 71. So confirmed, two over 71. Uh, yeah, people with big muscle have higher maintenance than with people with untrained muscle. Uh, that's one of the reasons that uh, working out and lifting weights is so helpful for long-term um, weight management, for sure. Uh, for sure, for sure. Uh, all right, so we have a middle point here. Let's come down a little. Let's go over 40. There's 40. Seventy one, so that's thirty one. So it's one over thirty one. So wait. No, it's two. <laughs> two. Two over seventy one. I know you guys are chatting. I'll catch up uh, on that chat in a second. All right, we're going to see how this works. We're gonna see if we like this ridge line. I'm looking to see if we have any loss of height 
on this slope versus Um, and it, it's looking pretty solid. So let's, let's give this a try. My job is surprisingly high demand of physical activity, especially since our store is far more women than men employed. And I end up doing a lot of stuff that is generally readily relegated to men. Interesting. Uh, I said sometimes looking at food, you just gain weight. I, I feel that way sometimes. Sure, your mind is as sharp as a rubber ball, rubber ball Mikey. It's not very sharp. I have to watch what I dream about because I dream of food I'll put on 10 pounds overnight. God, I feel that way, dude. Gary, I wish I could join your feast. I'm in the same boat. I say we should start eating things like peanut butter and crackers. The reason that it's, you are what you eat, well, peanut butter is considered non-perishable, so you never perish. Yeah, you freaking trolls. All right, so, well, just Mikey. We got to figure this out. Let's see if we can. That looks really good. That was the old, that was the old. This is looking good. Looks like I may have nailed this ridge line already uh i really think this is looking amazing so for for anybody that doesn't know i'm using a um a a macro that I designed to help me click all those buttons really quickly so that I don't have to do it all by hand. This last one needs some extra special help. One, two, three, one, two, three, four, four, two, four. Oh no, it wasn't there, it was here. One, two, three, one, two, three, four. Right there. That's good coverage right there, I think. I think that works. Uh, let's 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 see what our little test tells us make sure we like it that looks great that that looks perfect um it could be slightly lower but i think this looks really good so we're gonna we're gonna go with this um Uh, that's a cool that's cool right i i like that um all right so let's 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 work from the i like working this way so let's come down here and let's work this ridge from this bottom this ridge is actually really short compared to some of the stuff we've been working on tonight so uh this is gonna get knocked out really fast I just want to start down here in case it is off. We'll be able to tell. Let's get rid of those two. And probably these two. I mean, that looks the same. So that is our slope. Two over 71 is absolutely our ridgeline slope and sometimes the buttons don't always work 
Well, not all the buttons work. Some of them work. Most of them work. Yeah, first try. It happens sometimes. Get rid of that one. Uh, the thing is, is that I may have gotten the slope correct, but getting the height of the slope correct, that's what I got first try. Luckily, we'd already calculated the slope when we did that a couple nights ago, and I, you know, did write it down. Well, that was wrong too. Let's try to do this right, shall we? So we didn't really have to work the slope again, but the relative height of the correct slope, I did end up for some reason getting right on the first try. Uh, I got it, Ken, you got a macro for pasting? Yeah, so uh, I'll show it to you. I just used this, um, uh, this guy here and I and I made a macro uh three down and plus click so this is what it does it just it presses down and then releases H sorry this is probably really impossible for you guys to see um uh it's just really tiny and I can't blow it up but basically it presses down and releases H presses down releases down three times or four times and then it presses left a bunch of times and then it presses left click okay and it does it all really really fast sometimes maybe too fast and so it's hitting h to lock it for nudging and then it's nudging it and then it's clicking the, the left mouse button and as long as i'm in build mode default then it works really really well Uh, yeah, the, these macros, Gary, they're, they're easy. It's just record. I hit record and then I told it, I, I did the sequence that I wanted it to do. Uh, and then I just, uh, hand edited some of the delays so that it would go a little bit faster than what the recording had it do, but I didn't, now it's not working. There it goes. And I bet you if I made a little bit longer delays, it would be less buggy. Uh, but this, this works for our purposes and this may actually be the last time I use this. I'm not gonna spend a bunch of time like fiddling with it. Because, yeah, see that time? It didn't, it missed one of the, the backs or one of the down buttons. I just think it's, I think the macro is still hitting the button, but I think maybe there's a little delay in the game. And so the game misses that input. I'm sure the macro is working. It's just that how the macro is sort of integrating with the game kind of, I bet you it would, it would benefit from a little bit longer uh, delay. Your paste macro works, but also activates scanner. Yeah, well, you could change. Um, you could change how the scanner button. Uh, you know. I don't think ants can read that text. Yeah, I know, killer. I know. Well, especially on, especially on, on Twitch because, Twitch is a 1080p that I've shrunk down my widescreen to fit, so that 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 text is insanely tiny on Twitch. So it's a little bit better on YouTube, but not that much better. Um, I just have a big screen. 
sorry. First world problems. Uh, we're almost done with our first tasks of the evening, you guys. This is this ridge line is the last one. I'm gonna go. Um, oh, there's a couple. Uh, I'm gonna fix a couple of edge edges. Um, there's an edge that I want to put on something. I'll fix that. And then uh, Gizmo was saying I, I might have missed something. I'm gonna go check on that. Um, and then we're gonna figure out how to build this tower. We're gonna work on that the rest of the stream. See if I can get that in and looking nice for a thumbnail shot. Okay, let's get rid of all of these. Uh, Pee Wee, are you purposefully being nice now so that I take back your your troll award? Because I feel like you're purposefully being like overly nice. Oh, you said it to Ray. Oh, that makes more sense. I thought you were talking to me. I had to read it again. It actually makes a lot of sense that you're that nice to Ray because she's really nice. Uh, that that makes sense. My bad, my bad. Uh, we also have to do some more painting tonight. Oh, and I still owe you guys a story about uh, when I used to play Guild Wars 2. Oh my God, that looks so good. What is this? <laughs> You're personally being overly nice to me. Well, in a way, isn't that also trolling? So. All right, let's get rid of this stuff back here. <laughs> you don't want the troll badge. Now I'm trolling by giving you a troll badge. The ship is awesome and ridiculous, you guys. Like I, I'm really happy with this. Oh yeah, I definitely, now that I'm used to that darker color, that looks white to me. Color does strange things, you know? Ray is nice. All you guys are nice. Even Pee Wee is nice. Even Pee Wee. Um, all right, so what do I want to do? I want to put an edge on this. <laughs> I'm ridiculous. <laughs> all right, and then we said we weren't going to do free form. We we're going to try doing diagonal. That looks good. 
I know I'm ridiculous. We really need a whole wall here, so I'm not 100% sure how I'm gonna do this, but I wanna get this edge in. And that looks good. We should leave it like this. This song sounds familiar. Does Jace use it too? I doubt it. Uh, I haven't. I actually haven't pitched the music that I use in in a while. Uh, let me. I don't know if he uses it. He might. That would be crazy coincidence if he did. Uh... So this is this music, a white bat audio. Uh, particularly, it's this one, Algorithm 4.5. Uh, this one here, 4.5 hour synthwave mix algorithm, royalty free, copyright safe music by White Bat Audio. So that this is what I'm listening to. Um, I don't know what this song is called. Let me see if I can figure it out. 345 would be Slice of Paradise, I think is playing right now called slice of paradise by white bat audio so there you go uh, that'd be crazy if 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 jace listened to this as well but i um it's possible anything's possible Need an invert here. That looks pretty good. Um, and then we're gonna need to do the same thing here. Come on, bro. There we go. One, two, three. No, nope, the wall's in the way. One, two, one, two, three. Uh, nope, just two. One, two. Perfecto. Perfect. 
There we go. And, and you know, we'll do some sort of wall there. Or something. We'll, we'll figure that out. Um... You know, what does that look like back there? I guess it is open, isn't it? Here, let's look at it. Yeah, I guess it, I guess it is open. We're looking at kind of like this right here, but maybe we make it a wall because we need that space for factory. Yeah, it's kind of right here. We have the wall here, but it's kind of open in in that area right but we need we need factory in there so i don't know we'll we're, i'm not gonna worry about that tonight but we are gonna have to figure out like that does not look good it's not gonna work we gotta do something else what are we gonna do what what are we gonna do what are we gonna do We're gonna do that. That looks great. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Um, but yeah, because we're gonna have to enclose the ship probably more than it does You know in Star Wars so that we can have our factory parts All right, let's do let's do some coloring here and we'll chat and then I'll go and do the same thing on the other side. Uh yeah, I could have used painted beams. I I definitely could have. Uh but I'm happy with just using the other Um let's get rid of the screen thing. We don't need the screen thing anymore. I'm going to leave the gray ones in that I that I made because those are markers in case I need to count but we don't need the green ones anymore those were like temporary markers I feel like I'm like power washing. <laughs> Mikey will take the troll badge from Pee Wee. All right. That's probably much more accurate anyway. So Pee Wee, a new challenger has entered the, the ring. You've you've lost your your head troll badge to to Mikey. But to be honest, you probably never really deserved it in the first place. Uh, that was pretty fast and efficient. If we can continue this.
Now this does feel like spray painting. Ugh. Hey, uh, what giant things are we building here? Hey, J Norm Games. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm building a giant super star destroyer. Uh, that's what we're building. And then that's the Star Wars Senate building. And then over there is the, uh, I'll zoom in so you can see, uh, the, uh, Imperial Tower on Scarif that is in Rogue One. There you go. That's the Senate building in like the prequels and this is a giant Super Star Destroyer that is really coming together. Uh, and I'm giving it a paint job right now while we kind of hang out before I, uh, <laughs> the thing goes faster than spray painting. Yeah, also Gizmo, it dries, it, it instantly dries. So, uh, and it's a lot less stinky. But yeah, uh, I'm giving this thing a spray paint job right now. I was dumb. I should have set this to a swatch so that I could change it later. But I am setting it to a swatch now so that if I do want to change it, I, I can. Um, and then we're gonna uh, we're gonna clean up some edges and clean up a couple little things uh, after I can't handle painting the same thing anymore. But I do want to paint this thing all tonight. Remember the all important thumbnail. All right, that's all I care about. Let's fix that green thing. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Stop hitting the wrong button. The all important thumbnail. I'm like an Instagram girl getting getting that important pick. Getting that important Instagram shot. That's that's me. Getting the thumbnail shot. Can't have a half painted giant floating power factory, can we? Welcome to my ASMR channel. I mean, sh should I work on my ASMR voice while we're painting? No, the problem is I, I don't, I, I haven't tested it. I don't know like how loud it would be and how it would sound. I wouldn't want to put you guys through it. We've had an, uh, we don't need, we don't need me trolling anymore. Oh no, no. You know, I'll get like real close to the mic and whisper in it. Are we listening to some relaxing synthwave 80s nostalgic music and watch, watch me do very satisfying paint jobs. I don't know. I don't know if that's what you guys signed up for. Yeah, thumb, th thumbnail shot beats a money shot. Well, you know, depends on depends on what the thumbnail shot is of.
I just paint this all right now, you guys. I'm kind of in the jam, and it needs to get done. Auto save. Ew, 80s yuck. I do have a nice voice. Well, thank you. All right, Gary. You know, I'll, I'll go into ASMR mode and you can turn me on to help, help you go to sleep, Gary. I could do like an NPR voice. You know, something like. You're listening to Sounds of the Empire. I don't even, I don't even know. I'd have to script it. Do you like a radio voice? Those old, um, like World War II, like radio. <laughs> like radio shows. That would be pretty funny, actually. I actually do have a, a pretty, pretty good mic. Uh, I have a shotgun mic. It's actually not the preferred mic for like podcasts and stuff. Um, I got this mic for a different purpose, but it works well, so I'm not gonna, you know, no knocking it. Uh, where are you? There you are. Uh, this is like 80s style-ish synth wave. But not like actual 80s music, more like, like idealized what we think 80s music could have slash should have sounded like is kind of what, what this music is. Zef Pekewes 100. Is that like 100%? Are you agreeing? Is that the mic Kurt Cobain used as well? I don't know. I doubt it's the exact one. <laughs> Oh, shit. <sighs> Took me a second. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Jeez. And you guys say you're not trolls. All right, get, all right Gizmo's definitely, <laughs> definitely up there. I mean, I guess it's not a troll. It's more of like a horrifying dad joke that I didn't get. So it turned into a, it turned into a troll for me. It took me a second. Sorry. It's late, okay? <laughs> the thing is, is if I... If I had known what he was saying earlier, I wouldn't have read it out loud. <laughs> so... He freaking snuck one in on me. God. That's what happens when I take you guys seriously. what I get okay I deserve it <laughs> I mean <laughs> too, too soon it's not too soon uh, too real maybe 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 a little too real oh god
All right. Time to start painting the other side. It's bits. I'm new. Oh, a hundred bit. Oh, oh, thanks, man. Yeah, sorry. I, uh, yeah, it is bits. Thank you for that. All right. When I, when I initially glanced over there to see that, uh, Zeph Pickowitz, I didn't see the, um, I just saw the kind of emoji that goes with it. I didn't see the initial or the sort of announcement thing that also is there. So I appreciate it. Thank you very much. You watch a lot and you want to contribute. Well, I, I, I thank you for doing so. Let's see if I can get back in my rhythm. That was good. Actually, I don't have that much left. Oh, Mikey really appreciated your uh, joke. Uh, Gizmo. He probably even more appreciated it because I didn't see it coming. What is that? Let's get rid of this. Okay, nice. Yeah, we also have to remember too that like, so let's here, where's the I'm thinking of a particular picture here. Um, like th they are different colors than the white Imperial Star Destroyer. So like the regular Star Destroyer, right? It, it, it is, this is a shot from the movie. It is a blue gray, like for sure versus the white that the Star Destroyer is. So, uh, and the lights are blue versus the white lights. So this is this is an actual shot from the movie. So, uh, I, I, you know, I think that, you know, this color that I had before, while I thought it was gray at the time, like this would be a good kind of color for 
if I was doing a regular Star Destroyer. But this, this gray, there's very little blue in this gray. There's a tiny little bit, as we know, but it's mostly gray. And, I, and I'm glad we we figured out our colors tonight. Uh, it, it, it really does look good. I know it's a little bit finicky, like it's a pain in the butt, but this kind of stuff is important. Like if we're gonna put in this much effort to make a factory, let's make it look good. And it's really, actually, it's really me dropping the ball. I I should have put in, I should have put it on a switch. But you have the blue lights as well. Yeah, and I will, uh, a switch, a swatch. Uh, I will have the blue lights. And we're gonna we're gonna play with some lighting later, sure. And right now these are yellow, which maybe they shouldn't be. Maybe they should be blue. Um, I could change that relatively quickly if I needed to. I just have to fly around the inside and and paste in a new color set. Because those are those are not lights. Those are signs behind the window there. So we could make those blue if we wanted. Uh, there's like this balance that I try to keep between what I think looks good in this game versus maybe what is exactly lore accurate or picture accurate, right? Like some things just aren't gonna look as good as they do they're not gonna look as good in the game when I build them as they do in the story. And so, plus I, I just like, I'm gonna make it in a way that I like, even if it's not exactly perfect. Plus we also have the functionality aspect of it too, right? Like one of the reasons that that thing looks like a mushroom instead of the Senate dome is because I cut the top off because I needed the damn top for stuff. And so that's one of the reasons that it doesn't look exactly like the Senate Dome. Plus the fact that we don't have enough tools at our disposal to really make that dome look like a dome. Not really. Uh, can't you default the color on those? Yeah, well, when I originally made them, I made them all on the custom swatch. Um, Zeph, that was my screw up. I should have made them their own swatch because now, now we can change. Now I'm really not painting them gray. What I'm painting them is swatch nine. These are being painted swatch nine, okay? And so I can now change swatch nine. Um, once I finish painting this, I'm gonna troll you guys for a second. And we're done here. This is it. East meets West right here. Um, and actually we're not quite done. So my trolling will actually have a purpose because I painted some of this when we first started painting tonight, I, I painted some of it, uh, the custom swatch. So it really all needs to be painted swatch nine. Ooh, look at this. We have a, we have a hole. We're being exposed to space. There we go.
Alright. Alright, here we go. You guys ready? I'm gonna change custom nine swatch to something horrific. Uh, what do we, what are we gonna do? Uh, let's do, uh, let's do for the errant venture. Oh, <laughs> oh, all right. Now let's make sure that, oh, look, see, look over here. Look what I did. I, uh, it looks like a, a Christmas. <laughs> looks like a Christmas ship. Um, the game does. I really lose frames when I change swatches like that. Change colors in the swatch. Yeah. So I colored this wrong. I colored this, the custom swatch. This needs to be colored. The, um, Swatch nine. My FPS is just destroyed until the game switches all the colors over. It's so bad, you guys. There we go. There we go. It's fixed. It's done. We're going to have to switch it all back unless we want, uh, so now we can adjust the colors of this and fine tune it without having to repaint it. This is how you use swatches. I was just an idiot and didn't do it correctly the first time. There we go. So that's painted. Did we get all those sides correct? We did. Let's head down here. Make sure we get it all work working just right. <laughs> and I know there's a big old section over here that I didn't paint with with swatch nine. I started that later in the evening, so I got to fix that. Pee Wee, are those guys just holding up a little? Oh, it's cover your eyes. <laughs> yeah, I see. I see the other hand now covering the eyes on that emoji. That's funny. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, so I knew this first section was not painted correctly. Which is which is why I did this. Yeah, hot pink. Uh, I, I did this for sure so that we could see which ones I hadn't painted, but um, also I did this to troll you guys since we're talking about trolling. So now we can adjust our color as much as we want. If we feel like it's too dark later, depending on what kind of color we get into the I really need to remember this next time too when we build a new factory like the uh, the Jedi Temple factory you know maybe I do like a main color and then I don't know I got to figure out what I have all my swatches for I, I'm using some of these swatches for things and I I got to be careful not to hijack them Like a red star now. Kind of like uh like one like one leg of a star. Uh but yeah, for me so for maybe for like the Jedi Temple, I'll make one swatch for like main color 
and then one swatch for like trim color and then and then we can see what we like Auto save. <laughs> but don't kill your FPS. Well, I have to change it back. So, no, I'll probably just change it back to the gray for now. We'll, we'll have had our fun. Oh, you know, maybe I'll do a black, like a pure black. Just see what that looks like for funsies. And then I'll change it back to the gray once we're done painting. Yeah, it's looking really good. Um, how much time? What are we at time-wise? About four and a half hours. So uh, we we got time. We're gonna we're I'm gonna try to put the uh, the tower in. Is we need the tower in so that we can kind of figure out. I mean, guys, we're we're really close to being able to start actually building the factory in here. Uh, just really a, probably a couple more streams. Problem is I'm taking two streams off. Uh, I, I talked about it earlier. Uh, uh, I'm gonna do a hot pink for Zef Pekowiz uh, for his hundred payback for his hundred bits. We'll do we'll do a hot pink and then we'll do a black and then I'll change it back to the gray. Uh, and then it will absolutely destroy my FPS, but I don't care. If my main computer crashes, the stream will continue. <laughs> so I just, I'll just need time. It'll just be black uh, because my uh, streaming computer won't have an input. And then you guys will see me reboot my computer. It's happened before. Back when I was having those really bad crashing issues. It actually caused a full reset on my computer once. So I'll just have to reboot my computer, get it all set up again, and then and and recome into the game. I don't think it'll, I don't think anything like that would happen. But if it does, stream isn't over. Just hang out. I swear I've painted this section of this five times tonight. This is the last time, baby. All right, let's uh, let's get where we can see. Oh, Mikey! Now Mikey sent me a uh, hundred bits, and he wants to see what it looks like with bright green. <laughs> Yeah, they're doing it on purpose. The Twitch chat is trolling, trolling you guys. Uh, let's do this too. Let's, uh, if we're going to do this, let's go all out. Let's have a nice time here. There we go. Don't call it an arrow, Gizmo, you troll. <laughs> I really like the air adventure. Please tell the Matrix I said hi. Yeah, you got my air adventure reference. It was red, right? It was definitely red. All right, so we're doing hot pink first. Here we go. I was wondering if anybody was going to get that reference. Oh my god, this thing, this is horrible. This is horrifying. All right, here we go. Actually, it's not too bad on the FPS. Looks good. <sighs> All right, 
All right, and then the green. Okay, there goes the FPS drops. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna wait until uh, I get my FPS back and then I'll change it to the green. <laughs> I'm train. Okay, well this kind of does look like an arrow. Well, so it's actually was originally designed that actually looks pretty good, to be honest with you. Uh, Zeph Pegawiz, it looks good. I mean, it's, you know, I don't know what Empire would make their giant fear. Uh, not a fan of pink. The deadliest uh, ship they've ever built. Uh, pink, but, you know, we'll go with it. All right, so I got my FPS back. Let's go with the Christmas green that I made. Fix Miss Green, here we go. <laughs> oh, that's ridiculous. Uh, I got I got to force sun. I'll force the sun to come out. I want my car to be that color. <laughs> I think you read the X-Wing Rogue Race Squadron book close to death in time. So I don't, I actually didn't know that from that one, Ron. I knew it because it was mentioned in the, um, the Thrawn trilogy. And then I think, uh, in the, the, the Thrawn duo afterwards, uh, the Timothy Zahn books. Hey, Tom G. Def Pegawiz. Yeah. Your, your name is a troll by itself. Thank you, man. Thank you for the bits on on Twitch. I really, really help it. I uh, really appreciate it, you guys. Yeah, so there's a little hype train thing going on in Twitch for gifted subs and bits. I don't, I don't think that's ever happened over there. So that's cool. You guys started something. All right. Okay, so that's green. Uh, I got my FPS back. We're gonna do we're gonna do one more. Uh, I wanna do this negative this negative one black, which is really kind of interesting. I mean the black looks badass. The black really, really does look badass. Yeah, Mirex's name. So I know you said, yeah, I was wondering why uh, you said Matrix. <laughs> I love that whole story with the Aaron Venture and uh, Mirex's dad. What was his name? Uh, I mean, and I love Karan Horn. Like, I love all those guys. So, such a waste that those awesome characters didn't get used in Star Wars, the new stuff. And instead we get the crap that that we had to watch. I don't know. Sorry. I, I get on my soapbox. All right, I got my FPS back. All right, this was the last fun color. We're going to switch it back to uh to the gray that we're going to use for now. But the black does look good. Like the black could be a legitimate color. Absolutely it could. Uh we're going to go with SDD gray. There we go. So there's our color. Still very dark. And then let me turn my daytime cycle back on. And let's turn fog back off so that we can kind of not just be looking at fog. Yeah, the black looks good. Booster. Yeah, 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 yeah. Booster. Booster Tarek. Okay, so Gizmo, where did you say down here? I'm still struggling with some FPS, but where did you say down here that you think that there was maybe an error or I forgot to do something?
There we go. There's my FPS back. You remember? I I'm I'm not seeing anything that's undone. Oh, you know what we definitely have to do? We have to uh before we do our tower. Uh I need to Uh, do this edge. Oh God, maybe I won't die. Here, let's... I'm on the edge of the map here, guys. <laughs> I have to turn on God mode. Or I started to fill in. I don't know what you're talking about. Down here, right? I don't see anything not done down here. It's in the middle section, not the sides. What are you talking about? You mean this? You mean right here? So I, I did, I cheated a little bit. I used these corner pieces. Because that was kind of, this 45 degree would have been really hard to, to use our other trick. Second row of foundations. Up here. Behind me. Oh, maybe he said that after. Before I turned around. The the, the lag in YouTube is uh not helping. Do you mean here? Oh, maybe I fixed it after you got offline or something. This all looks good to me. Oh, either way, we got a little mini tour for people who may have not seen this stuff. I know there's a lag. I know. Sun's coming out. I mean, look how big this is. Like, I fly around a lot, and so I know it's hard to get sometimes get our bearings but I mean this is ridiculously big it's going Yeah, no, no sweat, no sweat, Gizmo. Uh, all right, let's get this edge in just like I finished off that other side. And then we are gonna try to see if we can um, figure out our tower. And then we did decide, I like doing diagonal instead of freeform on these.
That actually looks good. Then I'm pretty sure I did one. Did I do one going up? I think I did. Let me see if I can see it from here. Yep, I went. I, I made one going up. That doesn't look good. Oh, that looks okay. All right, let's get this bottom one in. I think that's what we did over there. Almost. We were there. Now I want to go there. There we go. Yeah, I know I can turn that off. I um, I probably should. The reason that I was keeping it on, I don't think anybody cares about. But I was keeping it on for a reason. Uh, my thought was that anybody could join, could know where I am in terms of like my progress in the game. That's what I was thinking about. But yeah, I could turn that off. It'd probably be cleaner for everybody. Um, and the other thing I was using it for too, which was also silly, uh, is, um, <laughs> when I was making my videos, I was, uh, using that to make sure that I, is it that one? Yep. Uh, that my resolution was good. It was it was a, it was the same picture every time, and so it was a it was a a way to make sure that I hadn't messed up a rendering issue. Uh, I would check. I would render and I would check to make sure that it was clean. Uh, it was how I was doing my quality control, actually. Um, I mean. I don't know. I, I don't know if I like that. Um, I'll like it better if we do this. But yeah, no, you're right. It doesn't need to be there. And I actually kind of forgot about it. Okay.
Okay. Um, I think I've put it off long enough. Let's let's switch over gears here. Gizmo VOD, 49, 39 minutes, 20 seconds in. I'll write that down. I'll check on it later. Uh, VOD, 39, 20 seconds in. I'll, I'll check on it later. Uh, there's plenty of time to work on this beast. Okay. We've got to make the tower. Because the rest of the stuff, the rest of this stuff fits around the tower, okay? Um, and I think for that, I want a anchor point that I can trust. And that anchor point is gonna be Avad 49. Did I say 39? I did. I meant, yeah, 49. It was 39 minutes. Well, now we're auto saving. Uh, but that's okay. Let's look at the tower. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna I'm gonna measure on my page. The first thing we have to do is we have to decide on a height. And it, it, it probably needs to be the height from the ridge line, which we'll have to extend down to it. Or we don't do that. I'm not sure. Sorry, when I when I'm looking at my page, my mic's out of position. So I know my sound quality goes down. Um How are we going to do this? All right, I'm formulating an idea. I'm formulating a plan. I think I know what I want. All right, it's gonna be a little bit labor intensive, but I think it's gonna look good. But basically, here's what I'm thinking. I know this is on the side, okay? But this square, is the tower and you can barely see it from the front because a lot of this other stuff is in the way oh no it's not that you can barely see it sorry 
You can see all of the tower because it's down here too. It's just that from the back, look at the back. I think you can barely see it from the back. Yes. Okay. So it's right here. So what I might do, and then if you look here, all right, so I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna make the height of the tower here. Okay, where we build the box. I think I'm gonna make that equal with that line is super thick where our ridge line stops so it kind of pokes its head up a little bit i think we're going to do that rather than measuring i think we need relativistic distance right because a lot of our measurements aren't exactly uh accurate anymore but we want them relatively accurate with the other things that are having that are going on okay and so i think we're going to do that uh so what does that mean um well it means two things that'll give us our height but i also want to bring this down because this this little set of foundations is kind of my spine to this whole power because this is square this middle foundation set and so when we build flooring and when we build walls and when we build like i'm not going to go after all this angled bullshit, right because these aren't straight none of this is straight this is So this is kind of our backbone, this set of foundations down the center that we'll build all other stuff off of. Okay, so there, so there's that, so that's good. Now, what's a good way to do height? I know, we'll use our tool instead of, um, hey Ray, alrighty, home and on the PC now. Man, you worked late tonight. Uh, Dad Gaming, welcome. Their frontal picture where you can see how far the edge of the bridge extends out. Yeah, I think I looked at that one, did I not? Uh, all right, so here's my thinking. We get our height here, and then that'll be, that'll be where our tower starts. So how do we get our height? Well, we've done this before, wrong button. Uh, and it is called uh, show debug none. Okay, so what's our Z height right now? Uh, it is, you guys won't be able to see it, especially not on Twitch, but it's, it's four, six, nine, three, one. We'll call it three, two, four, six, nine, three, two. Forty-six thousand nine hundred and thirty-two. Okay, great, perfect, 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 perfect. So now we have that, uh, and let me now fly all the way over here. So we're fixing a point in um, in the Z dimension.
Uh, but I, I don't know about the one, you know, the other dimension. So let's, let's do this. All right. Now let's get our height line back up. What did I say? Four, six, nine, three, two. Four, six. Okay. We need to go higher. Four, seven, too high. Four, six. Nine, eight, seven. All right, this is this is it. Okay, there. That's the height of where we start. Okay. The the square part of the tower. So let me turn this off because it's super irritating. So debug zero. I always forget how to turn this off. Go debug none equals zero. Nope. Go debug none equal zero. Yes, I spelled it wrong the first time. Okay, so that's our height. Um, that's our red line. I've got the red line in. Now what we need to do is we need to figure out like where the center or maybe the front of our boxes. Probably, probably the center line. I can't undo. Are you kidding me? That's horrifying. Ooh, this might be better. I mean, it's basically looks like halfway between. All right. I know what I'm going to do. It's halfway between this point here and this point there. See? It, yeah, yeah, that's our center line. All right, we're gonna do that. It's gonna look good. Uh, let's count the foundations. It's this point here and that point there. So let's count the foundations. Ten foundations. All right, and so five over. Right here. So where these lines cross hmm, it's not exactly that though is it because not square um It's close enough though. I'm not going to I'm not going to sweat it. And then we'll build the the tower off of the that centerpiece that we're planning. Yep, 
So if I look straight north, So it's right here. There we go. All right, that's center. So that that's that's the center of our building. Okay, now, how wide is this? In both dimensions. I mean, it looks wide enough to take up Yeah, I mean, then you have that back spline coming off of it. Uh, we're, we're maybe just have to judge the, the depth. Uh, but this. I think in the front and yeah, let me let me see it's really hard to see You know, I'm gonna call it as wide. I'm gonna call it as wide as this gap. We're gonna make it that wide. That's what we're gonna do. Um, so let's measure this gap in foundations. This gap back here. This is how this is how wide it's gonna be. From here to here, and I'm just gonna jam my ass into the corner, and I'm gonna look at that corner, and I'm gonna alt click. Ninety three. All right, all right. So ninety three divided by eight is. Uh, we're gonna make it 12. It's gonna be 12 meters long. 12 foundations wide. And we want center to center. And we know this is center decided this post right here center there we go so uh, I need five more and then five more on this side and then I'm thinking five total width wise for now and then is it as tall as it is wide I think so so that means 10 walls
It so does not look like the same height, does it? Well, it's not exactly, actually. Uh, because if it was, it would be like this. Doesn't look like a. I guess that's square, isn't it? Better be square. Otherwise, I don't understand physics, which would be really a horrifying thought. All right, I want to knock the square, and I, I want to see how we feel about it. Uh, we're gonna, you know, we're gonna make it look uh, better than this. We're gonna give it some angles and we're gonna make it look good, but I, I just wanna see if we're close on the size. save okay I'm getting thirsty get the superstructure in and we're gonna probably call it a night um, but I think it's gonna take me at least a couple hours to get this right it's not just going to be a box. We're going to do a lot more to it than that. Uh, let's find it. Let's find a good close up picture. Something. I mean, it's right here, but we need something better than that. So what do we. What I really need is like a high res. I mean, I guess we go with this one. This is the other one that I had up. I was using this one. Now, I don't, this one pokes up too tall for me. So I don't know if I will use that one. Uh, ooh, I got an idea. Uh, there were some... ...3D models. I, I didn't use this because... But do I like...
I didn't like the overall shape of this one for... But maybe I will like the detail in the superstructure. Dealing with this is really difficult. How do I rotate? Maybe give us an idea, right? I'm way too zoomed in. This is really difficult. So I actually like this shape. We may use something like this. I definitely like the diamond part. And then we have these balls that are gonna be raised up. I like that. And then I don't know if we do this top stuff because it doesn't exist in any of the other drawings. Uh, let's hold on to that. Let's keep that tab. Uh, well, there's a little something there, isn't there? There isn't. Well, maybe there is. Okay. Uh, let's go. So we looked at that one. Probably all we're gonna get. Let's try. Yeah. I guess they do have a little something there. Okay. Uh, so yeah, right. So, uh, I actually base this entire scale off of making those shield generator. They're like shield generators. I think those balls, the size of the industrial storage. That's, that's why this is so big so that I could use those exactly for that. Uh, I, that's, that's literally why, it, how I base the scale of this. Or tried to, anyway. Model looks as if you have to build container ships to go on top of the arrow. Build a container ship to go on top of the arrow. Maybe. So right now I'm just trying to get a feel for the size of this thing. I think it's too tall. It looks too tall. Like the box is too tall. But that'll help when we make it diamond. So maybe the center. Yeah, okay. I think we're gonna go with. With something like this. For the basic shape. Yeah, and that's the bridge, right? Uh, but I, I still like this thick ass neck. Here. 
Uh, let's let's bring up my thing so I can draw on it for you guys. Yeah, it's here too. This like kind of thick neck that comes back. And then here, this like angled thing that comes back here like that. So we're going to be doing that. Right. It looks like it looks like that. All right. Um, all right, let's let's see if we can get this shape right. Uh, let's give it a little bit more. Uh, a little bit more uh, artistry than this square. Oh, uh, one thing I did did want to do for I wanted to see how close we got. So those are a little smaller. What if? What if we cut the width by one? And we cut the height by two. So that those looked a little bigger. Yeah. And then what am I going to cut it off of? Probably the back. And I know I'm not cutting it centered, but that's okay. I'm just trying to lock in my overall general size before I start shaping things because it'll be too late at that point. Now we're talking. Uh, uh, it's kayak raided your party uh, uh, with a party of 15. Welcome guys on Twitch. Uh, yeah, that's, that's going to work. This is what we're building. That's roughly the size. It's not the correct shape, but that's the relative size that we're going to make this thing. Um, the stream's going great. So we're building um, a giant uh, working factory that is the shape of a Super Star Destroyer from Star Wars. And I've got the basic shapes in the top shell and the undershell. Uh, we are using uh, basically this set of blueprints here and uh we got all this top shell in uh let me switch this over we got all this in uh in a shape that i'm happy with and then we got all this bottom shell in uh and uh we we decided on the color tonight and then what i'm working on right now is to see if i can 
get this tower in over the next few hours. We're gonna be working on that. Um, and then I also have this model that's a more detailed model that I'm gonna be using right here to kind of help us, except it's really hard to control the camera, uh, help us figure out exactly what shape we want to make this tower. And that's that's where we're at. Uh, and this power plant's going to be big enough to handle just about all the oil on the map, 10,500 per minute. So this is what we're making. And welcome, you guys. 31 viewers now on Twitch. I, I really appreciate you. And, I, and thanks for the raid. Um, and I just finished dialing in kind of my dimensions for the overall size because I actually made the scale of this so that these industrial fluid buffers could be these uh, shield generator -y things uh, on the bridge. Uh, or at least roughly, right? Roughly. Close enough for empire work. That's what we're doing. Um, and yeah, there's there's the shell of the ship. Uh, and I have some other Star Wars uh, factories. I have this. This is the the empire base on Scarif, the tower from Rogue One. And then that is it's hard to see because the ship's in the way. But that's the Senate building from Star Wars the prequels. Uh, and then I actually have the the tower from Lothal, if you know Rebels, right there. Uh, and also, there's one over there hiding. But, yep. So that's what we're doing. I have uh, 450 hours on this save. 430 hours on this save. So, coming along. There you go. That was the 30 second uh, overview of my, of my playthrough. So... What are we doing? Um, I like, I wanna go with this. Thank you and welcome. I wanna go with this. And this thing is hard to deal with. All right, so it pretty much immediately starts sloping down from its topmost point. So let's see if we can do a two meter slope or a one meter. Where's the center? The center's here. So... What if we do... What is... Is that enough? Oh yeah, that's gonna... That's gonna look probably pretty good. That looks pretty good. I bet you a two meter is not gonna look right. Let's do a two meter on this side just to make sure, but I bet you it's not gonna look right. Yeah, no way. Uh, let's take another look. Oh yeah, the one meter all the way. The one meter is perfect. So that's good. Now, I did notice just now that there's a, that they're not flat, they're kind of curvy, but we're gonna make these flat. We're gonna make them flat. Uh, so, okay, so that solves that. Let's get this in. And then we'll fix the walls. And then we'll see where we're at. We'll see how it looks and we'll see what we need next. Uh, yeah, you're sorry, but it's 3 a.m. So you're going to bed now. Good night, everyone. Yeah, it's 2 a.m. for me, uh, but I uh, stream like a crazy person, and uh, I'm gonna I do eight to nine hour streams on Saturday night. So uh, if you were watching uh, from the raid, I'm not going anywhere for two to three hours, I think.
Yeah, definitely the first slope. I 100% agree, Pee Wee. Uh, how am I gonna do this? Uh, I think I have to do something silly. Well, let's see what this looks like. Oh, it's perfect. Look at that. That looks good. Let's fix up these. Is uh gifted a sub. Thank you, man. On Twitch. Which is really cracking for me tonight. I started streaming on YouTube, so I'm I'm dual streaming you guys uh on YouTube and Twitch. I started on YouTube, I only recently added Twitch, and uh so my viewership is you know sort of lagging a little bit relatively speaking, but, uh, oh, that looks really good. That looks the way it should, I think. Um, and I think I have an idea uh and so anyway it's nice to um you know get some viewership over there how big is our friend the industrial fluid buffer Let's center them on oh, seeds max nudge distance. Here comes the auto save. In reality, he will stay for another four hours from now. He's just being modest. I have been getting tired lately. Like I said, my uh, my work has been kicking my butt. But I, I will get this project done for sure. Uh, I just don't think that will take another four hours. That would put me in a nine and a half an hour, nine and a half hour total stream. I don't know if it would, it would be that much. Uh, but, uh, you know, we'll see. Um, yeah, that may be a little bit too far in. Yeah, that's too far in. I got to move him out. I, I moved, I moved this ball too far towards the center. But we can move that really, really easily. Not. It's only a little bit. Let's do a half a foundation. Um, alt button stuck. 
So we were here. One, two, uh, one, two, three, four. Yeah, okay. In the center of the three. Which would be here. All right, now let's get rid of these. More to the corner. Yeah, I was. So I did notice that they're not centered exactly. Like this way, but I don't think I want to make them off center. I think I think I want them centered. So now I'm thinking I kind of want to build this uh, little structure thing that they have. I think it looks cool. Uh, we don't really have any round pillars, but I was thinking what if What if I did something with these? Not really the right size. Oh, actually, it's pretty close. Oh, that's not bad. And we might be able to cheat. Okay, all right. If I was making more than two of these, I would absolutely blueprint this, but it's not worth it. Also, need to not be on Zoop. Um, uh, what's the solution here? Uh, this is going to be too big, isn't it? That's pretty good. All right, we're gonna do that. It's kind of more like a, the only other thing we could do. Mm, no, this is all we have. This is what we have to do. Kind of like flower petals more than it is anything than a circle, but. Um, okay. Nice. Except actually, I think I'm gonna bring everything up. And let's turn Zoop off. Man, you really do not want place. There we go. I 
kind of want to replace that girder look. All right, make it look more solid. There we go. A little bit of finicky, but we got there. Just don't delete it, Ken, you dummy. Yeah, 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 we get there, we get there. There we go. All right, that's that's more what I wanted. Um, all right, now we need. Now I have a point. One of the reasons I wanted to build this is so that we had a place to build our beams from. Because we're going to build uh, those little, uh, these beam. Ah! I'm going to build these beams. They actually kind of meet the meet the ball halfway up, don't they? Yeah, I I could have done this a couple different ways, I think. Maybe Oops. I gotta do it. I, I like this. This is working. I just have to do it in a way that is repeatable. That would be eight of them. That it needs to go in. It can do. Hmm. Damn. Not the same. I need like a half meter. Hmm. 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 What if we go? There's a way to do this. I just can't think of it. Problem is that. Need to make it. where I can make it symmetrical. Wish I could nudge it.
I know I'm getting bogged down here, guys. I, I'll fix this in a second. That, that might be the ticket. Nope. Gotta, it's gotta nudge correctly. Uh, but I didn't rotate it correctly, so. Nope. Come on. Sometimes it, it doesn't nudge the way I want. I don't want it going off the angle. I should have made a blueprint. Of course, I get something that I like. And I can't recreate it. Okay, let's uh, let's hit the reset button. Let's get rid of these. It's causing it not solving the problem that I wanted it to solve. I did not want to do that. That is okay. We're gonna be okay. Let's try leaving the square one there. Maybe this is a blessing in disguise. All right. How can we use this to make something that looks good? That looks great. Except now it's doing that. Maybe I have to build this and now nudge it. It does not like that. Why are you letting me nudge it the wrong way? A small deleted, don't sweat it.
See, it's make it's doing it on the side, but it's doing it the wrong way. The way that I don't want it to be. And then this is gonna be diagonal again. All right, but maybe we try this. Maybe we try it in the corner, just like this. I like it further out. I really like that. Uh, is there a way that I can... I don't know why it's doing that. Uh, yeah, I was thinking rotate the foundation, right? But I gotta get I gotta be able to re, re I love this placement But I can't I can't get it to work uh, repeatedly See, what the hell? It's going side to side, but it won't let me go back and forward. Very strange. Um, I guess I'm gonna have to do the other way. Rotate the beam before nudging it. I, I did that. Oh, it worked that time. I just had to... Maybe I was nudging it the wrong direction. I mean, I was rotating it the wrong direction. All right, let's, let's see if I can repeat this. Three, so I guess if I just rotate left instead of right, it works. Yeah, and then I was thinking I was gonna rotate the foundation and do it again. Yeah, the beams can only be nudged one direction. The problem is figuring out how to control what direction I wanted them nudged in. And apparently uh, those beams are not actually square. <laughs> they look square, but there's like a north and south. And so like they can nudge one direction they can nudge like north and south but they can't nudge east and west so i was continually rotating them to the position where they can't nudge in the direction i wanted and when i rotated the other 90 dire degrees you know i could rotate that direction All right, 
but we got it. Except I've been sitting so long. Ow. Okay, now in theory, this should work the same. If I get the damn thing centered. Like that. No. All right, let's try this again. Oh, see now, rotating wrong. Okay, so. Try that way. No, now it's not working. Okay. See? Let's try this. That's actually Does that look okay? Not nudged? I think that looks okay not nudged. But rotated. Yeah, that looks good not not doing I was doing a little half meter nudgy uh, it looks good without it really good oh it looks great it looks really really good all right I do want to do something stupid uh no copper sheets what a normal metal beam Yeah, I don't know. Where's my copper sheets, you guys? Uh, yeah, Ray, probably. But now, once I figured it out, I, I like I said, I, I'm only gonna do two. Damn, that looks good. Oh, that looks so good. Uh, I can do that really quickly, relatively quickly. There's my copper sheets. I want to plug the holes up. I, I can copy that. I can make it happen. Uh, no, I'm not going to use the pipe as a pillar. I, I, I don't mind this, what we have. What I want to do is, um, Do something else. Oh, 
But it's not gonna let me, is it? Oh well. Almost. It's gonna be too tall, isn't it? Yes, I need a half meter. Wall hole, wall hole. Wall hole is the solution. I just keep saying wall hole. That is the correct solution, Gizmo. Mm, boom. Oh. No, look at it. Look at it. No, it won't let me. It won't let me nudge. Okay, okay, okay. I know what the solution is. I know what the solution is. Uh, okay, we nudge the wall. Except the wall is doing that stupid thing. Okay. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, yeah, look at it. Now can I get it and change its color? <laughs> oh, that's what I wanted. I absolutely should have done this in a damn blueprint. It's too late now though. Oh, that stupid diagonal nudging really drives me up the wall. No pun intended. Okay, I think he looks awesome. <laughs> it looks good. Um, should we change? What do we do? We change that? Sure, we can. I think we're good there. Uh, yeah, I think it looks great. Um, all right, now, now we just gotta do it again. Uh, that's okay. We can do it. We can do it. And you come up to here and then I give, give me give me the right no That worked though All right, it goes right in at the line. Yeah Goes right into the line. Yeah, it looks good. Yep, worked first time for once. Didn't work that time. So what I've been doing, if I take this and then do a full rotation, instead of rebuilding it, 
Oh, it didn't work. Can you please just work? Thank you. Like, I just have to keep trying until it rotates the direction that I want. This is like trying to put in a USB port. <laughs> like, plug it in a USB port. This one we decided we weren't going to nudge because I like the distance on it. So there's no nudging. There's only rotating. Yeah, clean AF. I think so too. Good. And then after this, all I have to do is put in our, our little friend. our whole cover All right and then how did we do that we this then we did this. And then we did that. And then we did that. And then we changed it to that. <laughs> looks so good. Ah, uh, looks so good. Damn, it looks good. All right. Now, do we build this little little thing on top? What do our what do our pictures say? Not all of them have it. Some of them have it, some of them don't. Right, so like, that one doesn't have anything, but this one's like a really crude drawing, so I I don't know if I wanna believe that one. Uh, what else do we got? All right, this one has a little something there. Let me see what my model has, that you guys can't see. My model has a little something there. All right, I think we do. I think we do need to build something there. So let's 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 find one more picture, shall we? It's the wrong, the wrong Death Star. The wrong, yeah. Uh, that one has one too. So I I think, yeah, this one has one too. They all really have one except for the one blueprint. So we're gonna build a little something. We're gonna build a little, a little something something. What are we gonna do? I'd say we do too. Uh, it needs to be shorter. Oh, those kind of stick up, uh, but I don't think I like them sticking up. So we're gonna, we're not gonna make them stick up. So it needs to be shorter. Uh, where is 
Yeah, I think the I think the balls need to be highest, the highest point on the ship or on the tower at least. Uh and Yeah. So, if you look there, balls are definitely higher. But there is a square thing. Um, all right. So, what do we want to do? Do we want to do, like, maybe metal pillars to match the shininess? You know, big metal pillars, maybe? Exactly what shape do we go after? I'm not sure. This is a little complicated for me. Uh, all right, let's just let's just build. Um, I'm gonna bring it in one. I need a, I need a picture that I can look at. Uh, I gotta pull this, I gotta pull this over to the side. Sorry guys. So I can build and view at the same time. This is close. This is really close. It's not, it's not even, so we'll fix this. Yeah, I know. I know what I'll do. I'll drop 
them. Uh, I'll drop that last one down two meters. Yeah, it's like a little gazebo thing. It does. I, I, Ray, I was thinking the same thing. It looked like it looks like here. Let me let me show you. Uh, it looks like one of those uh, Japanese uh, arches uh, at the front of temples. It, it really, especially this depiction of it, it really does look like that. Um, yeah, I was thinking the same thing. It gave me the, the vibes, these, you know, something like, uh, you know, something like this. Right? I, I was thinking the exact same thing, right? Um, and I, I think I know how I'm gonna fix this up just a tad bit and then and then and then we're done with this top piece. So I just wanna uh alt button got stuck down. I just want to Yeah, that's that's the ticket. Oh, that looks so good. And then and then we won't see that under there. Okay. That went in fast, faster than the uh, balls did. Now the only downside is we can't really change the color of that, but I think that's, I think I'm okay with that. Great. Okay, let's get some wall in. Uh, and then I don't I don't know if I like this speaking of wall. I don't know if I like this looking like that. Let's But I don't think I like that either. Maybe. Uh these fix it walls are so freaking Yeah, that's better. That's for sure better. Um, are we going to take anything else from this? Uh, we could do, we could do kind of like the idea of, well, let's get our wall in. Um, and it's going to be a lot of these. And then on the bottom, it's going to be a lot of those.
All right, and then I'm going to get these in and then and then I'll um We'll tr we'll change it up. We'll we'll do some windows or we'll we'll do some we'll do some stuff. But I just want to get the wall in so that I can see it. Is that what that's called? Uh, that's, um, I've always really, uh, appreciated and enjoyed and found the Japanese culture super interesting. Um, and then speaking of which, right now I'm uh, my wife and I are watching Shogun, which has been amazing. Like the writing and the acting is so subtle and they don't beat you over the head. You know, you have to pay attention, you have to watch, you have to concentrate. Uh, it's, it's just so refreshing. All right, so there's our, there's our blank face and it looks good. Yeah, the arches. Yeah, Tori. Uh, good to know. Uh, thank you for the entertainment, Mr. Kin. It's time for me to get some shut eye. Thank you, Mikey. All right, so we definitely want, I think our, our usual windows. For our bridge. Yeah, for sure. For sure, for sure. Okay, I like it. Um, what else can we do? Um, and I actually want to be able to like see out them. I don't want to like put a, I want to be able to, we're going to be able to go inside here. You know, uh, but what else are we going to do with this? I think we take a page out of wh what we've been doing in other parts of this save. Especially at this building. And how does this look? That looks pretty good. Um, let's go ahead and bring it down. We've been we've been doing that.
let's do the same here. Let's bring it down. Yeah, that looks great. And then I think we're going to go with that everywhere, pretty much. Got to move it in just like we have been. Now we got to bring it up. Oh, yeah. looks so good. Look at that. Looks so good. Okay. Probably gonna have to do this to the whole backside too. Unfortunately. something up shouldn't have messed anything up but it did Maybe that one's not right. Try this again. It should be square and even. And then I moved it forward one. I moved it up one and then I move it forward one by doing this. Uh, 
Um, what did I do? I, did I mess up this one? There we go. Yeah, I messed up that one. I was like, it's working. I messed up the first one. All right, that's good. Then I think this one has to go forward two, I think. Maybe we'll, we'll maybe adjust it again when we get this side in. Yeah, that just has to go down one, so that's there. That perfect. I think that's what we like. This has to go up two, so that's there. Uh, a little bit finicky, but man, it looks good. Uh, okay. Now, I think we need to do some kind of... Definitely do this. Right, that that looks way better and then i do think we need to come up with some sort of something like i'm not saying we should do this but something like this to, to break this up a little bit just like we did in our um now i'm thinking our blueprint right um The oil pump house right we broke up this this wall with our design there i want to do i want to do something but on a bigger scale so i mean maybe this is a maybe this is good enough something in, oh oh well hold hold the phone Hold the effing phone. We cannot have a thing without the Imperial symbol here. So maybe, maybe we work around that. And I, I think we should do maybe two of them. So let's, let's pop in some Imperial symbols. Like right here here and right there maybe or right in the center probably right in the center at the bottom
Damn, it looks good. Ooh, I actually kind of like the white now that I did that. And out. Hmm. <laughs> Got a massive ship, teeny tiny windows to look out. Well, remember the that's true, but there's only like one bridge. I was kind of going with this. Like they are teeny tiny. <laughs> like look how big it is. And then you zoom way in, and you get the, and you get the bridge. Uh, I mean, I don't I don't disagree with you, but I kind of think it's a I kind of look at it as a feature, not a bug. <laughs> uh, but that is only one rendition of it. I mean, there's no way you can see any windows on anything else. Nothing else is that detailed. But I mean, I don't disagree with you, but I think it's kind of baked in almost, you know. On auto save, we gotta get cracking here. All right. I do like the white. I do like the white. Um, okay, I think I think we're about good. But we gotta break this up. We gotta break this up somehow. Um, no, it's got to be centered. I think if it's centered, it'll look okay. What do we got here? What What is center?
eight. Eight. Yep, I eyeballed center. Uh, what do we think? I don't. I don't know. I'm not 100% sure. Maybe, maybe good enough for now, and if I think of something better later, I can change it. That looks better. That looks better. What about building out the windows? Similar. To the oil refineries in the same build in the Senate building. Oil refineries. coming out in a semicircle well that's kind of a good idea that'd be really hard though because they're a lot bigger I mean they'd have to come out really far it'd have to come out like like that it's not a bad idea but uh, I think this is good I think this is the this is the best I've come up with for now uh, and let's see if we can knock the rest of this out because I want to get this box I want to stop this box from free floating okay so we gotta um like tonight I guess this is fine. Maybe. I'm starting to get tired. <laughs> I'm, I'm making... Making mistakes.
There we go. Alright, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get these borders in. I'm not going to do the back walls. I'm just going to get these borders in. And I'm going to try. Even though these borders are a little finicky. Uh, we got to get these in like... this Uh, and then I will see if we can get the... Oh, let's get rid of these. Just for the guide. Um, let's get this side in. Yeah, we gotta... We, exactly. We gotta get some foundation in. Meaning, like... what's holding this thing up. Remember, we're working towards the, the thumbnail for the evening. Uh, thanks, Easel Werger. Sorry, I, <laughs> that sounds German and I, I Americanized the shit out of that, so. <laughs> uh, in a, in a bad way. Um, wow, that was a way easier way of doing that. I can't believe I was stupid and did it wrong before. I did it so poorly before. Uh, but thank you. So I don't mean to say, you know, <laughs> to take your compliment and then destroy your name at the same time. Uh, okay. Uh, I'm trying to I'm trying to go accurate and fast because I am starting to but I am tired well then have a nap and then fire the missiles Oh, look at you. Perfect. All right, let's bust out the bottom here just really quickly. And then we've got to design a... Job's done. Uh, we've got to design some kind of a... Uh, the rest of the tower. All we've done is the head. The top. 
Gotta get the rest of the base in. Uh, this, if I'm right, this should go right into where we want it to. It does. And then this one is only off by one. We'll call it right there. This goes there, that goes there. This goes, ha, nope. There, and there, and that, and that delete. And that goes there, and that should be perfect. It's not perfect. It's not perfect. Question is, which one did I screw up? I, I, I think I screwed up this one. Why are you not perfect? Why do you hate me? I know nobody else will know, but I'll know. And then right here. Come on. Nope. That means this one's got to be broken. Sorry, you guys probably can't even see what I am irritated about. It's so tiny. But I just can't. help myself um i think this is it this this will be it look we all have ocd issues okay and the tighter i get the worse they they become there was that so difficult apparently it was Okay, our our box is done. Uh, I'll figure out the uh, the back wall probably next time. Remember, I'm going from I'm going for the thumbnail tonight. Uh, I don't think we'll be looking at the windows. The thing is a monster. Well, I mean, here's the view from the windows. <laughs> Uh, crazy that I just watched episode two where you are talking about this and now you're live building it Also seeing you excited for four views and now having 30 is awesome. Yeah, no for sure uh, uh, I'm I'm always I'm thankful for for all the views uh, always okay, so Let's figure out what we're gonna do for a neck for this beast for this head we've built the head i'm happy with the height we just gotta we gotta build a neck so i like this sort of pyramid thing we have going here uh let's let's go to this view So I like this pyramid thing that we got. But what's interesting is it's kind of centered off of like the back corner. So it'd be like we did this. And then and this was the center. All right, and then how wide, how wide, how wide? 
let's call it a little bit wider than the box how wide's our box a box is four but if we call it six yeah let's call it six now nope we're gonna make a five Not you, not you too, autosave. You too, Brute. Autosave. Yeah, it's, it's interesting, Colin. I, I don't know. It's hard for me to kind of remember the context of, uh, what I, what it was like when I was first working on this channel because I didn't know if I would make it this far, you know? And when there was only four people watching my live streams, I was like, oh my God, what am I doing? But, um, you know, that, that changed over time. Are you gonna have it in steps like the Mayan Pyramid Foundation? Uh, it's Colin. It's cool seeing someone jo so genuine. Uh, yeah, I just try to be myself. Uh, it's a lot easier to be myself because then I don't have to remember. So you're saying you want this to be like steps. That would be easier than doing a slope. I kind of like a slope idea. Uh, let's see. What other, what other options do we have? Oh, no. I don't really like this. I used this one for this top here and, and, and we're done with him. So, um, what, what other, I don't know. I think I may have to do a like a, I don't know. I may have to, um, but yeah, I, I try to be myself because then I don't have to remember. <laughs> You know what I mean? Um, right. So this is going to be too much. Right? Like that's too fat. What about a wall? What about the sloped wall? The hell, what the hell is going on? I'm in Bizarro world. Um, how does this, this looks probably pretty good. You guys. I, I may have to go with this just because it's a little fat. It's a little fat. Right, that's that's a little less steep. Yeah, because this is a 45 degree angle. That is definitely no 45 degree angle. So I don't know about that. I don't know about that. So what we may have to do, yeah, this is not gonna work. It was a good thought. 
what we really need is two to one okay and so what would two to one look like it would look like would look like this it would it would be four down and then two out that's a pain in the ass to build So what do we do when we have pains in the asses to build? We blueprint it. Uh, let's do it. We, ain't nobody got time for that. Yeah, it's gonna end up being steps because there is no wall that has the thing that I want. What if we go Oh, uh, that's not right Try this. I have a feeling this isn't gonna work going down. This would work going up. I didn't even build it right. It was like this. It's not going to work. Uh, unless I... gonna have to do this yep Yeah, the scarf back to our wall. So that was with um, angled pillars, which I, I am not really doing here. I'm doing something different here. So um, yeah, I hear what you're saying. Uh, how wide is this beast? Probably. Not very wide. Uh, let's get a wide shot here. How thick is our neck? That's like a quarter. It's like a total quarter. Uh, I hear what you're saying, guys. I could angle this. 
and everything. But, uh... Still might. I still might. But let's... Let's see. I can't remember how many foundations across are we? We 12? Yeah, we're 12. So a quarter of that is three. So we're only three wide here. So it's just this. I could do that. That would probably look better, wouldn't it? Doesn't look very good. What do the sides of the neck look like? Uh, what do we, what can we look? What can we look at? What can we look at? Um, the sides of the neck. How about my model? Where's my model? Hard to tell. Mm, okay, it kind of. Mm, okay. That one's flat in the front. Sketch fab. Uh. Isn't this a three D software thing too? Ooh, it is. I remember looking at this one too. I, I'm not a fan of this one. It's interesting, but not really what I'm going for. Uh, here's another. Oh, th we've already looked at that one. I, this is the model I have, by the way. I have this. I have this exact model, this Bandai model, in my hand. That's that's exactly what I have. Uh, oh, this is a model to buy. All right, a couple more things. Ooh, 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 that's, that's, that's really cool. Yeah, straight wall, the front and sides. Yeah, I'm looking, it's looking more like that. There does look like there's a little slope. This is super cool. Uh, there does look like there's this, uh, a super, a little bit of a slope off the front, but I think I will straight wall it. And then maybe we do make the back just um, 45 degree angle. What else do we got here? Oh, yeah. Look at this. That's a regular Star Destroyer, but we could go with it. This is an executor. Exec. Okay. 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 I think. All right. 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 I think I got it. I think. I think I got it. 
we're gonna use the tools we have is it gonna be perfect 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 no but Something like this. We're gonna 45 degree the back. And then we're gonna straight, like you said, we're gonna straight uh, wall down the sides. And the front. Oh, hell yeah. Okay, now we're talking. Uh, we're just trying to get this shape in, okay? Uh, it's going to be a little plain Jane for now, but Yeah, something, something like this. And once again, the fact that I don't have any freaking half walls makes me want to shoot somebody but we'll, we'll hide that in we'll hide this in the other wall Yeah, something something like this for tonight, I think. Yeah, I can detail it. You're right. I can do a little something with that front. We're going to have to do something with that front wall. Uh, let's keep going down a little bit more. But I think flat is a good place to start. What are you doing to me? Why why do you not Uh That's good enough. We're under the line here.
Guys, this is pretty much it. in the sky thanks man uh, let's get the damn uh thing off the top ah uh, dang it okay uh i mean guys that's pretty effing good And, and then we'll build everything else around it. I mean, this is really good. I, d uh, I was talking about you today, actually, a little bit. Eye in the sky, if you're still around. Only bad things, of course. Um, yeah, guys, this is... I don't know, I kind of like the flat wall. And I like the offset and it's kind of pushing forward a little bit. Yeah, this, I mean, this is it. Auto saves coming. That looks really good. It's the right size. Yeah, I'm just trying to think. Color might be a little dark, but remember we said that the, the interior was, we were gonna make it a little darker. Uh, shouldn't it stick out more? Yeah, I worked hard on how high up it was gonna be. It actually shockingly doesn't stick up that, uh, too, too high. Uh, let me, when this autosave is over, I'll get a little bit different angle. Yeah, I, I measured off of those. I kind of went off of how tall the back fin is. How tall it gets in the back. So like how tall it gets in the back there. No, actually, guys, it looks like I built it too far back. Um, trying to see. Really hard to see on this. No, it looks okay. Yeah, it does kind of have the Sphinx look to it. I I like it. Um, and and honestly, different depictions have. Uh, I, I actually think it sticks out too far. If anything, it sticks out too far. But if I really had to, I could shrink it. Yeah, this, this is the shape I was going for. Uh, we could do a little bit of uh, fun here. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, yeah, exactly. If it, if it was really off, we could we could do something um, with the save editor. Hundred percent. I agree. I was thinking the same thing. Um, I kind of like that. You just build, you sucker. Not want to build. Too much. It was worth a try, but I liked it better before. I need the inverse one. Sorry, right, I had to try. You know, sometimes you just gotta you gotta you gotta try stuff. I think in general though I'm I'm happy with this uh, placement. Um it could use some more uh you know bells and whistles a little bit, but I think I think we're good. Um so let me think. I, I mean let's let's do a little planning and let's do a little discussion and then uh we'll figure out what we want to do after that. But uh 26 viewers on Twitch, that's kind of a lot actually. Uh there's only 30 on YouTube and usually YouTube beats the hell out of what I have on Twitch. So thank you guys. Um, okay. So. Uh, but remove the corner of the three wide. Same shape, but remove the corner of the three wide. Same shape. I'm not sure what you're saying, Smee. Sorry. All right, let's put our back wall on. Uh, except I kind of messed that up, didn't I? By... I guess I didn't. Bust this in. Uh, oh, I don't know if it will or won't work because I'm not sure what you're saying. I'm not commenting on <laughs> if it will or won't work.
Uh, try again. Explain it to me like you would a small child. Explain as you would a child. Oh, you're saying no, ignore, it doesn't work. Okay. Okay. All right. Um, all right, what are we going to do next? Next stream. What are we going to do next? Um, I'm basically, this is, this is good for now. We'll touch this again, but not until we have everything else around it. Uh, it's kind of like a chicken and the egg. Like, I wanted to put this in so I know where, how to place you know everything else around it but you know this is good enough for now until that time does that make sense so so this is good so this is good um what is next we've got to start we have a shell here but we have to start putting in some some walls I mean, this is like, we have to start figuring out where the boundaries of our, of our factory can go. Okay. And You know, like, like these engines, like this right here. Yeah. Like, yes, the engines stick out, um, here, let's go down here. Okay. So like, I mean, yes, this is an engine, right? That we can see, we can, we can see this part that's an engine, but I'm, I'm, I'm not really concerned about making a perfectly accurate model. I need to make a factory. So what I, what I think I'm gonna do is basically make a, a wall that comes like this or so. And then if I do make some engines, which will be kind of hard to do, they'll just be this. Because then we can have our wall as we have a factory, right? And so like, where is that wall? Okay, well that wall is like, the engines kind of poke out to here. Uh, Real Zathoro on Twitch, hello. Uh, that voice came out of nowhere. What voice? Oh, when I, when I quoted that movie, <laughs> that's uh, a movie quote. The engines would come out to like right here ish, which puts our wall like right, maybe like right here. So we have to measure that. And then we got to put in, you know, I, I want to start sealing this up so that we know what our factory boundaries look like. That's really our next, that's what we're going to do our, in our next stream. We, we've got kind of the roof and the floor in. We have to get, well, some of the floor. We have to get our walls in. All right, and then, and then, and then we have a bunch more factory. You know, maybe we'll do a 45 degree, maybe a 45 degree angle here. And then we have a bunch more factory space here. But I'm gonna probably make that wider. Uh, Johnny Rook, I'm working hard to try to get it done before 1.0, that's the plan. So, okay, so you guys see this space right here? 
I'm probably gonna push this out to like very close to the edge. So we have more factory space. Ah, but the engines, these two engines. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know. I'm, I'm less concerned about the engines, guys. I may not even make them, ever. Like, look at all those freaking engines. Over here. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Those engines may, may get deleted. Or just not, not mess with. We would keep the three in the back, and we, we keep the six on the bottom. Right? So, cross out. I don't know. Maybe... Maybe those don't exist in our in our class of superstar destroyer. I don't know. I'm 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 not as concerned about the engines. I want to start figuring out where our boundaries are for our factory, because 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 Johnny Rook has a point here. We can't screw around with like cosmetic stuff. Too much. Too much more. I mean, we got a little time and we've, we've used it. And then we got to put in this roof here, whatever this is. Okay, so. And I, and I think that's gonna be basically just enough room for a train to fit inside. And then it's like, we're gonna close it off. So we call it like 10 millimeters or 10, 10 meters. How can you fly without engines? Well, so I'm thinking, I'm thinking maybe this, what's probably going to happen is that this is a, this is under construction. <laughs> probably what's going to happen here, guys. Um, all right, so I have an idea. Where's our, where's our baseline for? All right, and now What's 10 meters up look like? How tall is a train? How much space do we need for a train? And then we don't want it to feel too tight. We, could do, we need to do more. We need to do more than 10. How about, uh, how about 20? He's pretty tall. Um, it actually needs to not be based off of that. I know what we're going to do. We could do a little bit of it right now. Um, yeah, I, this is what we're doing. We're gonna, we're gonna do some now. Because I do have a little bit more time. I didn't want to start another project, but we kind of are. Um, or at least part of a project. Flat roof. I want to, I want to get a feel for what this looks, what this looks like. My God, it's not even. Why? Why are you doing this to me? Why? 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 Look at you. Why do you suck?
So what I'm trying for is a much, much different texture. It's really hard to see. Oh my God. You know, a much different texture. For the roof of the bay. But we still need room to work up here. So. Would probably also need. A foundation. Now I can. Yeah, because I don't want a foundation. I want it to look different. And that's really Z fighting, isn't it? Which I don't like. Uh. I'll grip metal it if I have to. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about that. Uh, but so that's that's kind of what I'm thinking, and and then that is kind of our bay roof. Okay, and then when we put walls in too, will walls go here? Oh yeah, they will. Or a little. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah. Because we've got to rescue uh, as much space inside here as we can. Because we, we've got a lot of stuff to fit in here. The Babel number house vehicles. Can we just go? Can we just use the whole volume? Well, that's what I'm trying to do. I this guy. I'm trying to. I'm trying to put a roof on it that just gives it the appearance that it's a different uh, texture, just like this. Like the minimum, the minimum. Hey, Xanthia Joe. How you doing? That's why I want to do the different texture. Now it will provide, I will have trains coming in here. The, the sky train. So, so we will need a little bit of space. Uh, but that is what I'm thinking. I, I'm thinking some version of that. See, and this is like the minimum, right? Just four meters. Um, and then we wouldn't do this. We wouldn't do it that way. Oh, what we what we would do? I mean, maybe I could just build this really quickly, you guys. Before we call this a night, we do need to push. Um, basic construction. Let's put let's put this on on the bar at number eight. Um, Uh, there's some Z fighting, but I can I can dig it. I can deal with it. Uh, let's uh, let's bust out another. Oh no! I want there to be a. Uh... 
Yeah, no, I hear what you're saying. I, but I, I think that I do want there to be a, not just a color. I don't want to paint on the bay. <laughs> if, if, if I understand what you're saying, I, I don't want to paint the bay on. I wanted to, I wanted to be a bay, but not, not, uh, mm, yeah, it doesn't like that. Uh, I'm going to have to put in. Really not gonna work is it I was trying to make a damn I'll have to do how did it how did I get it to work before yeah that places roof flat doesn't place that is so horrifying that's not gonna work I'm gonna have to do this by hand. Uh, there are worse things though. Let's uh, let's just let's get it in. I I like this idea. I think this, I think this is a good compromise. between the two, you know, making it look accurate, but saving space. I mean, look at how much, we do get to save a lot of this. I don't even know what we're gonna do out here on the pointy end of this. How, how are we gonna handle this? What do I do? Just look at the... I need to look at something. The line? Do I look at the line? Yeah, I think so. That's uh, shockingly easy. Let's do a little, uh, let's play a little game, shall we? Where are you? I missed one. I missed one. Where are you? There you are.
No, those are backwards. That's why I'm doing this. I think I'm not going to worry too much about... Well, I guess I better worry about it. I guess I better. I got better. Otherwise, it's going to look like shit. I'll make a match. Uh, okay. Also, the material I have to work with is... Uh, what do you... Uh, oh, okay. All right. You're chatting. You're chatting. Not with me. All right. All right, if I do that, I can see where to stop. That is a much easier way of doing this. Going out and coming in. Yeah, okay, all right. So let's make some couple of points like this. Ah, that's backwards. 
Sorry. I'm glad we're doing this tonight. All right, now we gotta pull this in. Uh, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover all of this stuff with hmm, interesting question. I think I know the answer. I was thinking, what orientation should I make the foundations that I'm gonna place directly above this? And the answer is square, not this angled shit that we have going on because that will severely limit our space. Boy, I left the I left the walls behind. Oh my god, Becky. Yeah, I think the solution makes the bay still be a bay. Um, but we still get the majority of the usable, uh, like usable space. And we're gonna have to make decisions like this kind of a lot.
Um, and that that's always an issue, right? Uh, form versus function. No, no surprise that we have that issue. Uh, maybe we make this open down here. I kind of like that idea. For now, at least. There's no triangular flat, is there? So many pieces that I wish we had. This is the best we have. That's lame. It's lame as shit. Doesn't make sense. I mean, it makes sense. I just maybe we'll get some more, some more of those, some of those kinds of pieces in 1.0. I know that we're not gonna get circular pieces. I watched the video too. We're not getting those pieces either. I don't know. I mean, we may get some some more roof stuff. Uh, I know we're not getting circular pieces or ways to make circular foundations. I'm hoping we'll get some kind of extra pieces. Well, I mean, we already have, we already have triangular pieces. Y yeah, but Gizmo, that was in, I watched the video too. <laughs> that's, that's not the kind of triangular piece he was talking about. He was talking about a triangular piece for like a foundation that you use to make a circular foundation. All I'm talking about is uh, similar to like the wall triangular pieces that we have. I'm just talking about a roof piece that is exactly like, uh, I would just like this, but without the, the piece, uh, without the angle or uh, a triangular piece like this, I think that's different. That, that That's a, I think that's different than what he was talking about. Uh, doesn't mean that I think that we're gonna get one, but I don't think that he was referring to that kind of piece. I think he was referring to like pie pieces that you would put together to make a circular pie. Like pie triangular pieces, not like Triangular pieces that would work with the square system that we have. He specifically said 
making circles and curves easily easier so that's kind of what i'm basing that off of but i mean shit i could be very 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 wrong so but that's what it seemed like to me yeah 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 but that doesn't mean well yeah what you just said is true but that doesn't cut out making some pieces that don't require full reworks the reason that he said they're not doing circles is because it requires like a bunch of fixes that have to come in i mean we already have a bunch of triangular pieces i mean i mean look at this wall stuff that we have not that uh these you know if you build this and then i was just using some right and then you build like this i'm saying like this for a roof it already exists you know like it already exists for walls just make them for roofs uh you know there there's some like and like a half wall okay there's no there's no reason that i can't have a wall that is not eight meters long that's only four meters long yeah the snapping points i'm saying use all the same snapping points I'm not saying redesign anything that that needs new snapping points they're all the same snapping points now you start making foundations that fit together like pie pieces oh yeah 100 percent those snapping points aren't gonna work but i mean they make they make this piece that i want to fit in there they make that for a foundation Oh, and I, I used it already on this. I mean, it's this right here. It, 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 it already exists. It snaps right in. Right? So I'm, I'm not saying redo the snapping system. I'm saying there are pieces with the current snapping system that could come in that would be awesome. That's all I'm saying. I know we're not getting circular foundations because of those snapping issues. I don't know. He specifically said we're not adding curves, uh, ways to do curves. He didn't say we're not adding no new building pieces. So I just don't think you can read that into that. Having said that, there may still be no new building pieces, but I, I don't think that's what he said. I think that there are potential pieces that can be added that uh, were not excluded by the video. Like, like adding a half wall. <laughs> okay, that doesn't require any, any redoing of anything, snapping wise. All right, let's, uh, let's see, where, where am I? Ooh, what happened? Oh, this is what happened. I forgot to extend this down. Why are you not lined up? What? What? Did I, did I make an error? Oh, 
Oh. No, I didn't. I'm not saying come up with a, everything snaps in a um, eight by eight grid. I, I'm saying continue that. Uh, snapping pie slices with curved ends, totally different. I mean, we can make a circle right now. Why? Why do we? Why can we make this circle uh, using using this? Right? Why do we? Why can we make this? Look, circles, circle foundations. We can make circles, guys. Well, because this isn't really a circle. This is just a square with the ends rounded off. I mean, this is the same piece that I'm asking for. Right? Well, it's a quarter of a piece. But what they're talking about is making that what that video was talking about was making um pieces that are chopped like this right so that you can fit them in right that's that's not gonna happen and i get that I'm saying make more pieces with the snapping system that we have uh, and uh, a little bit would go a long way and I think that uh, things like that wall is definitely something that could happen um, and, I, and I don't think that uh, a triangular uh, roof piece uh, would be stretching the system either but you know maybe I'm wrong the biggest thing is I don't think that he uh, I don't think that announcement meant no new pieces is I guess my point That's all I'm saying. All right, that looks good. Then what did we do here? Right, let's get this middle in. I uh, never heard of a fin. Uh, question to English speakers. What the hell is the difference between a bog and a fin? I really don't get it. Uh, so I, I've heard of a fin. I don't know what makes it different. Um, off the top of my head. I don't know if I could say, I feel like they're, they might be interchangeable. Uh, a fen? A fen is like a bog, Pee-wee. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, maybe somebody who lives by either uh, bogs or fens may know the actual difference of when you would use one or the other. But from my knowledge, 
they seem pretty interchangeable to me. Maybe a, maybe a fen is more... Uh, the only thing I can think of is maybe a fen has more actual water in it. Like a bog to me seems very like mostly land with a like wet land. And maybe a fen is... Yes, wet land, but actual water as well. Kind of like a marsh. Yeah, where does marsh fit in? Oh, their source of water supply. So a fen is gonna be uh, salt water, and a bog is fresh water. Uh, that makes sense, actually. Gizmo, I bet you. I bet you that's it. If I had to, if I had to lay, if I had to make a bet with limited knowledge, which I do all the time and stake my reputation on it. You excluded Martian more. Yeah, I definitely don't know what a more is either. I bet you, uh, Gizmo, is it that a fen is supplied by salt water or seawater? And a bog is supplied by fresh water. I don't know why we're talking about this, but hey, you know, we're learning, we're learning new things. Oh, fen from the ground. Okay. A bog, the water comes from the... From the rain, from the sky. And a fen, the water comes from the ground. Yeah, and then you have a... Yeah, and then you have a moor as well. And then I was doing every other one... This is this our our bay cover is almost done you guys. Um and then we're going to put in our first factory floor. So, you know when I think of a moor, my first like experience reading about a moor was the Hound of the Baskervilles. Like that book, reading reading that book, the Sherlock Holmes. Is that that took place that took place on a moor? Um, oh, this looks this looks good. Oh yeah, so I I really like this 3D look that we get. Uh, we're gonna have to do something.
to give it this edge. But it should be fast. Get our edge in here. And then I wonder... Since I don't have that piece, I wonder if I just... What if we do something like this? What if we do... even want to lock don't you you jerk Um, I don't mind it open, so, but how are we going to cap it off and make it look good? Uh, unless, ooh, hold on. Hold the phone. I have to go in like 20 minutes, guys. We're wrapping this up. Auto save. You can just put in the triangular foundations you used earlier while explaining. The problem is they don't really fit in the roof parts No, I think I know what I'm going to do.
maybe. Um, I'm, I'm gonna leave this open for now. That's what I'm gonna do. Uh, I'm, I'm not gonna worry about this for now. Let me put in this piece over on that side. And then I think we're gonna call it a night. Let's put in this. Uh, let's cut this in half. Uh, and I'll think on a couple of these problems. Ooh, we need to bring them both up by one. Wrong button. Um, so yeah, I don't know what I'm gonna do with that edge. I'll, I'll figure it out, but uh, and then basically what I'm going to do is we can start it, but I'm not going to finish it tonight. That's not gonna work. We gotta go one up. Oh, maybe I will do this tonight. Uh, blueprint mode. Here's our factory floor. At least to a certain extent. that poke through <laughs> yeah it does so does that one come on
We're out of plastic. I know it's mesmerizing to see all the parts flying. Oh, but uh, yeah, don't forget to like. <laughs> yeah, that'd be nice. Thank you. Uh, I wish I had more followers too, but you know, I'm just gonna keep all the pla Oh my God, there's more plastic. Good, cause I need, I need more plastic. Um, uh, but yeah. Yeah, I wish I had more followers too. <laughs> but it's all good. I'm just gonna keep building. And, uh, you know, I, I go with the Field of Dreams. Uh, strategy. If you build it, they will come. Ah, oh, John Jarrett with the gifting. Thanks, man. Who, who's got Asuna got one nice who else uh, coin slot and gizmo got one I mean I have 36 viewers and the people that happen to get one most of the people uh, got uh, most of the people that got one are names that I that are regulars which is pretty cool Um, how's my time? I'm, I'm running low. I'm running low on time. But I'm going to try to get this, at least the, the large kind of swath of this floor in. Uh, cause this is pretty, pretty good factory base. Like once I kind of got it enclosed and sort of wrapped my head around, where's the last one right here. You know, kind of wrapped my head around exactly what we were dealing with. It, it got a little, I got a little less worried about how much space we were going to have. I know it's ridiculous to say that I thought for any minute at all we wouldn't have enough space in this giant ass factory, but we have a we have a lot to build, you guys. in here and I and I don't want what I don't want to do is get it to building and then find out that we needed more space or that we weren't not that we needed more space because we don't need more space but find out that we weren't efficient with the space that we had that's really what I want to do I just want to make sure that we're efficient with the space that we have uh oh one disappeared I don't know where it went I think it went under here Yep, there it is, found him.
So I'm just trying to be efficient as we go so that we have way more space than we need and we never have to worry about it. Oh, there he goes again. It's on now, Pyro. <laughs> what, is, what is happening? What is happening? Uh, nice uh, <laughs> Pyro and John Jarrett are playing uh, Let's uh, They're playing roll the dice on who Who gets the memberships and you know who the winner is I am so thank you you guys Thank you, John Um Sorry, I'm kind of rushing to finish this because I, I really am out of time. Uh, but uh, I don't have a ton of time to talk about what I'm going to build here. But basically, well, I, I have time to talk, but just not show you. Basically, <clears throat> uh, he's right. It's roughly 1,500 fuel gens. It's uh, 10,500 oil per minute worth. Uh, and... Um, but there's also it's not just fuel it's also uh the rubber and plastic and petroleum coke as well that we need for the rest of this playthrough um and it's a lot it's a lot a lot it's like 950 or uh 9500 plastic per minute you know, stuff like that. But we're almost we're we're almost done for the night. I um got to call it soon. We're out of concrete. Okay, that's it. That's it. Let's see what this looks like under here. It's gonna be a little dark, but yeah i i love how that looks we have to figure out what we're going to do with this open space when you can kind of see into the bay but i love the change in the um here let's change the lighting uh remember i've got to kind of go quick and get a thumbnail i'm going to turn into a pumpkin uh it doesn't really show any lighting at all under there it's very dark which maybe we need to fix. We may have to put some lights in there so we can see the bay that we work so hard on. Um, well, we can see a little bit there. There we go. There's a little bit. Ooh. Is this our picture? No, I don't think so. I think our picture has to be... Uh... A, a little bit of a cheat angle yeah something like this Yeah, I think it's going to be something like this. Uh, it's going to be our picture for the day. So let's pick out, let's pick out a sky that we like, and then we're going to, we're going to call it good. 
or sunny. Um, I like the cloudy actually. The partly cloudy is good. Ooh, I like that. I think I like this. Maybe. Clouds are covering up my moon. I went to all that work to get a good moon and the clouds are covering it up. Oh, I got to turn fog back on. I hit the wrong button. I uh, thought it was partly cloudy, but it's fully overcast. <laughs> All right, so now we're just waiting. Uh, let me turn on Boggle High Res. Oh, here comes the moon. All right, and then I'm not 100% sure on this one, so. That may be better. That's a little bit more light. That other one was, a, it ended up being a little dark. Something like, I think, I, I think I'm gonna go with this. Okay, guys. That's gonna be all she wrote for me. I'm exhausted, but we got so 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 much done um, I even did a little bonus project there at the end. So stream. Uh, thank you for all the new people that that Started with me today um, next stream is Tuesday night. So basically 72 hours from when this stream started for me this stream started Saturday night I know that it's like Sunday night for a lot of you guys. So 72 hours from when this stream started is the next one. If you can't figure that out, come to my Discord. I have a scheduler there that gives you the stream times in your time zone. Okay, uh, let me try to read any last chat before we go. Hey, and, and, and John Jarrett, thank you, man, for the 10 gifted subs uh, or memberships over at, on, on, on YouTube. I really appreciate it. Uh, yeah, the orange fog, do fog does look good. Uh, what is the view from above the nose under the ship? I'm not sure. My finger can't type. See, bro, it's been fun. Yeah, thank you, Pyro. Everybody on Twitch, 24 views on Twitch. You guys are the first to say goodbye. Uh, eight and a half hours tonight, guys. Uh, later on Twitch, 24 viewers. Thank you, guys. And bye bye. I always have to say goodbye to Twitch first. And Twitch is gone. Yeah, any last likes on the video would be really, really great uh, on YouTube uh, before you guys go. And this is it for me. Uh, thanks, Eye in the Sky. Appreciate it. You're welcome. You're very welcome. And I'm signing off, and I'll see you guys on Tuesday night.